And we back, and we back. Welcome to OT7 Season 3, Week 2, live from Dallas, Texas. We have the very best high school football players in the nation descending on the Lone Star State, not only looking to put their name on the map, but rep their team and compete for an OT7 championship. We have two of the best teams in Texas kicking things off today with Cat Takeover and Fast Houston. And I have the very best broadcast partner in the nation, Kieran Hickey Sample. I'm Alex Day. Welcome to week two of OT7 season three, Kieran. I'm so excited to be here. We are in the greatest land of all the lands, the beautiful state of Texas, the home, the heart, the soul of football. I'm so excited to watch some good play out here. It's going to be a good time. This is a hometown game for Kieran, but Kieran, Undeniably, these are two of the best teams in the country. What should we look for in this game? 100%. These are two of the best teams in the country and two teams that represent the city of Houston. Texas rivalries get real serious and Houston rivalries get real serious. Let's take a look first over at Fast Houston. Fast Houston, they are a team that recruits a little bit nationally and they are year in and year out one of the best programs that we see out here. At quarterback this year, they have Carson Boyd. We saw him last year at OT7 and he is back. He has done nothing, but this offseason just work and work and work. He's now committed to Illinois. He is going to light up those Big Ten teams, and I'm telling you right mm. now, he's one of the more underrated quarterbacks in the country. He's got great weapons as well. And on the other side of the field, we have Caleb Bailey. Listen, the hardest thing to do in high school football is win a state championship in the state of Texas at the 6A classification. This guy did it as a freshman. Mm. It does not get any better than that. Caleb Bailey also from the, from the Galena Park North Shore, Houston area, he is an absolute stud. Cat is ready, Fast Houston's ready. We're ready in the broadcast booth. You hear the horn and let's get it on. Here we go. Time for some Texas football, man. Starting off the game, that's Cat takeover with the ball, a flag at the end of the play. That's a 10 yard completion. So just a reminder, if this is your first time tuning in, we have a 20 minute running clock here at OT7. You have to, for a first down, you have to get 20 yards go to the opposing team's 20. We have a 40-yard field, seven points for a touchdown, and we'll get to the money drive once that comes out a little bit later. But nice early start for Cat Takeover. Nice early start. Good ball to Dwayne White on the outside. This kid is huge. I mean, I was down on the field earlier. He was warming up, getting in and out of his breaks, dropping down. He's 6'4", mm. 190 pounds. And I'm telling you, he, he's, he's a real athlete out there. Cat Takeover has some big receivers that you'll be hearing early and often. That right there is Blake Thomas, class of 2025, from Humble, Texas. Where's Humble, Texas? Humble, Humble. You say, you say with the, oh, the silent H. Oh, of course, Humble, of course, Texas. Humble. It's, it's in the Houston area as well, <laughs> yes. Humble, Texas. Blake Thomas, sit down, be humble. All right, that was corny. I'm sorry. No, it's, it's it. all good. It's all good. I was. I had to do it. I wasn't going to say nothing. I had to do it. I had to get it out of my system early. Dropping back, looking over the middle. A little too high for the intended receiver. A little high right there, just a little bit. The cat taker was going with the Lorenzo Aguirre on this first drive, as opposed to uh, to, to Caleb Bailey. And he's he's moving the ball. Class of 2027 from Dick Dickinson, Texas. Yep. 5'10", just under 180. Freshman quarterback, man. Freshman QB. Now, we talked about Caleb Bailey in the open. We'll see if we see him on the next drive. but. You know, Lorenzo, I'm sure, definitely capable of, of leading them here this afternoon. That's an early touchdown to Blake Thomas. Did it all on that drive. And an early 7-0 touchdown for Cat Takeover. Humble represent, man. Humble represent Blake Thomas out there getting the job done. <laughs> Take another look. Lorenzo, cool, calm, and collected in the pocket. Throws a strike over the middle for the early lead. And Fast Houston will take over on offense here from the 10 yard line. So, Caleb Bailey played last game for Cat Takeover. They played before we were on air. They played Team Huncho Elite. That game ended in a tie. Man, what is up with these ties, man? This is football. We do overtime and bracket play, but here in pool play, man, we, we got to get the show going, you know? I'm not, I'm not down for ties, man. That's a European thing, <laughs> all right? The European mind 
can, can grasp with tie. My Americanized mind, my Texas-born mind We're can't in Texas. with the tie, all right? No ties in Texas. No ties in Texas, man. That's a 10-yard completion for Carson Boyd. The Illinois commit from St. Louis, getting things going fast for fast Houston. Fresh off a state title this, this offseason, though, as well. So this kid's a winner. St. Louis with 30 touchdowns. Nice defense on that play by Arion Wilkins. And he's looking for his guy, Taz Williams. Taz Williams from right down the road in Red Oak, Texas. 54 offers for Taz and the class of 2025. I bet you Ohio can't State. name 54 schools. Oh, I could definitely name 54 <laughs> schools. I'm a, I'm a college football nerd. But, you know, it's going to take me a little while. It's going to take anyone a little while to name 54 schools. But he is just rising and rising on the recruiting rankings recently. And he can do everything you want out of the wide receiver position. He's at the top of your screen right now, number one. He's a four-star. You'll be hearing him often. They bracketed him on that play, trying to take him out. And that's, that is a quick whistle. I'll bring up a third and 11. And let's take a look at the on three power rankings. We'll bring in the third member of our broadcast booth over time, Tom. Tom, how do you feel about these rankings? Hey. Hey guys, as you can see, the On3 Power Rankings, for anyone that doesn't know, On3 Recruiting website, they're the experts in this space. And what you're going to see here is at the top, you got SFB number one. We haven't seen them yet. We're going to see them in a couple games today. Uh, and then you got Low Pro number two, which I'll come back to in a second. But then Fast Houston, who you're watching right now, they're actually ranked number seven in our Power Rankings. A lot of top teams, but a lot of expectations on Fast Houston. But guys, Low Pro at number two after winning week one in Dallas last week? How are they not number one? It's insane to me. But we'll, like, we'll see what uh, SFB does today. Oh, yeah. The last thing that we should be doing is sleeping on Low Pro anymore. Deep shot here. Oh, my goodness. There will be a flag on the play. We'll see if it's defensive holding or PI. It looks like it will be PI All called against. All sorts of contact right there on Cameron Matthews, the running back. We'll take another look. This will be called on Jonte Gilbert, the four-star DB from Atlanta, who just decommitted from Ohio State. Kieran, he's the number 10 DB in his class. Yeah. He's sitting on big offers at 6'1", 185. Now, he's an absolute stud. We saw him last year at OT7 in the championship making plays after plays, and now you see him back again here playing for Fast Houston. I, I, he, he's, he's a really solid kid. So Lorenzo Aguirre still in a QB. It looks like they might go with him for this whole game since Caleb Bailey had the first game. Lorenzo looking to make this a two-possession game. He's got his man over the middle right now. That's Romel Stevens, three-star wideout from Willis, Texas. And Kieran, he's one of the rising prospects in the state. No, 100%. Out of Willis, Texas, hey, down there hey, where we hey, saw DJ Lagway, another Houston area kid that, that's, 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 that's now going to, uh, seven, to go Florida as well. Hey, but here we go. Man, yeah, the yeah, thing hey, Cat Cat Takeover has some big wide receiver targets out there. You know about Romel Stevens and Dwayne White, 6'5 and 6'4. And they can move, man. Big bodies, and it looks like they're mostly lining them up on the inside. You see that a lot in the NFL, guys like Devontae Adams, some bigger wideouts lining up in the slot. You really get a lot of those mismatches there. No, 100%. That'll bring up third down. Now, Kieran, you know, you never want to call out someone's age, but hey, how old do you think right the center is? Hey, the center. Will, you see. hey, 21, 21, 21. He might be 12. He might be. Might be. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking back 10 back or 11 if we could get a shot think, of their center. I think Coach got his son out here to snap the ball. <laughs> they might, they might have picked him up in the parking lot. He's doing a good job, though, man. He's got to make a play if they uh, if they end up throwing an interception, though. That's that's what I'm interested in seeing. Is he going to run down someone to make a tackle? It'll be second and goal from the 23. Looking over the middle. Got, oh, broken up, great play by Arion Wilkins, his second big play of the game. What a deflection, man. That was textbook hand placement. Take another look, it's, your natural instinct is to hit the guy over the middle. This is seven on seven that football. That is how it is done. Right Karen, in his hands, Karen, right in his hands. And Joseph Smith jumps in and makes a huge play right there. Karen, when we talk about seven on seven football translating to actual football, it's plays like that. That is perfect technique, yeah. especially on the defensive side. Karen and that was back. beautiful too, because a lot of times in real football, you, you'll hit him, but he went right for the ball and possibly could have created a turnover. Wide open though. Touchdown, Cat Takeover. Dwayne White once again, Cat Takeover with these two big wide receivers and they're running straight to the real cost bone pit. They're having a time in there, man. Can't take over here to play. Up 14-0 early on Fast Houston. The three-star from Prescott, Arkansas, not to be confused with Dak Prescott, Arkansas. 
Gets Cat takeover up two scores early. Nice throw, nice catch. And all of a sudden, Bass Houston behind the eight ball right now. Is Dak to the point where he can have a city named after him? <laughs> I think you got to win more than one playoff game. I, <laughs> <laughs> I think you might have to as well. Goodness gracious. But yeah, no, I, I think Dwayne White and Ramel Stevens is big targets for, for Cat takeover. They're, they're going to be a problem to guard this weekend. Carson Boyd speed still up, in at up, QB for Bass Houston. Again, keep your eye on Taz Williams. He is at the top of your screen, number one. He's a favorite target. Houston taking the shot deep. Nice catch. Oh, they're saying incomplete. That was intended for Kobe Howard, the four star from deep Florida. He's got big offers. Florida State, Arkansas, Georgia Tech. Carrying this ball was a little underthrown in my opinion. Just a little bit underthrown. Gave his wide receiver a chance to make a play here though. Would have been an insane catch if he brought it in. I want to see what Carson Carson Boyd can do here, though. Down 14-0 early. He's a seasoned and, and, and experienced quarterback here. We haven't really seen any of these other guys in OT7 competition. Strong hands there by Taz Williams. Now you're starting to see why 54 teams offered him a scholarship. <laughs> like, Taz Williams just snagged that thing. What a catch. Taz Houston has a lot of big wide receivers, but Taz Williams at 5'11", 180. Showing some strong fingers right there. Nearing the midway point of this game, you see the beautiful field out here in Dallas. Just an unbelievable setup. Two huge jumbotrons in the back of the end zone. There's not a better place to play seven on seven football. Oh, Taz Williams open and overshot over the middle. Mm. Oh, he wishes he had that one back. He was wide what open. The quarterback just saw him late. Now you're seeing the coach getting on Carson Boyd about it. My goodness. Hey, Tom, what's going on down there? Hey, here we go, fellas. We're down here with Dwayne White. He just had a great yeah, touchdown right catch. Take yeah. me through that play a little bit. You got open. Okay, I seen him right here. I seen him right here. He was inside levers. So I said, I'm going to get him outside. So I hit him with a uh, uh uh outside. And then when I see him stop, I knew I had the chance to go get it. And I, up, I went to go up, get it. Up. So bad on him, but hey, he. He looked like he was hurt, man, after that play. So he, he probably got to sit out a few plays now, maybe take a break. His coach on his butt on that one. Now, I feel like a lot of guys out here, oh, I think you guys might be hopping on offense. No, right? no, 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 you're, no good. you're good, you're good, you're good. A lot of guys out here probably think they can guard you. Is there anyone who can match up with you one-on-one? -on -one? What's, what's the deal? I don't really think there's nobody that can match with me one-on-one. -on -one. They might get lucky on a couple plays, but I don't think there's nobody out here can match me one-on-one. -on -one. What can we expect from Cat Takeover this weekend? Takeover, going all the way. That's what we expect. We're going all the way. We're trying to get to the championship. We're trying to win. We're trying to win this whole thing. You got a couple quarterbacks here. Talk to me about both guys you got. We got three quarterbacks. My quarterback that just threw me a touchdown. He's nice. Class of 2027. He's young. He got two more years. He's nice. Man, my other QB, I really don't know. This is my first time playing on this team. But, Away. hey, I like it. I'm like this. Classic OT7, new quarterbacks. Great job. We'll let you get back out there. Appreciate you, man. Back to you guys. That was fourth and five, incomplete, but we have a flag on the play here, and they might get him for defensive holding. Yeah, it looks like it looks like there was a hold in the backfield back there. On the defense. Oh, man, penalty. that's a killer penalty at that time, though, too. Percent. Look, it was the right call, but it was so a late 15, flag, and, it was, and, and that always feels like a killer. And you heard the entire bit. Oh, it was kind of crazy. Now, I was talking to that official, uh, Red, that, that ball, Mr. Zebra. Red, Red, he goes by ball, the name of ball. Eric. He might be, <laughs> he's from Florida, and he might be the nicest dude I've ever met in my life. Oh, that's cool. Back up, back. I can't wait to wait, slander back up, back up. him. Well, balls you know, balls him, balls him and the other ref, uh, Carrie, they were back saying, up. which one of you guys was saying, oh, these Florida refs are biased? And uh, they, they were starting to ask me some questions about that. Mm. I don't think they're biased. I think Texas no. refs are the best in the world, though. You know what I mean? Of I think course, Texas of course. is just the best in the world. First and goal from the 15. Wait. Boy dropping back over the middle. That's complete. To Kobe Howard. I'll tell you what, Cat Takeover plays very aggressive on defense, and I don't think they're afraid to give a little shoulder to someone when they're catching the ball. We're seeing that time and time again, and I kind of like the strategy. Make them think about catching something over the middle. You know, you're not hitting them, but at the same time, like, you're going to feel my body if I'm running full speed in your direction. I always think of the Legion of Boom when I see defenses like this because you're kind of forcing the refs to call it every single time yeah. if you're going to be so aggressive on defense. Over the middle, incomplete, and you see it right there. That's a great call by you, Kieran. We see Joseph Smith, the three-star, the Arizona State commit, just absolutely jamming. Uh, sorry, excuse me. That was Arion Wilkins jamming Taz Williams at the line. Made it hard for his QB, Carson Boyd, to fit it in there. Yeah. 
Carson's Carson's really good at finding those small windows, though, too. That's one thing that we, I really like seeing with him last year. He's playing with EPS Blaze. He can find he can find rhythm anywhere. Yep. And he, and he also does a really good job of taking care of the ball. He's a very composed quarterback. So what? I'm interested to see. Oh, right here. That's Houston in for the score. Houston on the board. That's Kobe Howard. Beating the blitz right there, too. Like I said, Woo! composed Carson for the touchdown. Easy find. And now Fast Houston's on the board. It's time for a little bit of a comeback. It's a battle of Houston, Dave. This is serious bragging rights right here. Kobe Bean Howard in for seven. Let's take another look. Nice throw fitting in a tight window. Just finding it, man. The pressure coming into, into Carson Boyd's face. Not a big deal. That's the experience. Money, money, money. That's the, that's the. So, Kieran, we have a money drive right now, but we have one wrinkle for week two that you have never seen before. The defense can call their money drive. And we take a shot right here. That'll be incomplete. So now, you can use your money drive not only on offense, but defense. So it's the same, same scoring system. 10 points if you score, four points for a defensive stop, six points for a pick, 10 points for a pick six, AKA a pick 10. But now if the defense wants to get back in the game, they can use theirs on the defensive side of the ball. A wrinkle that I personally love. I love the wrinkle as well though. Say, say the game is close, say that there's a four point advantage, something like we saw last week in the championship between Lopro and Raw Miami. If you call a defensive money drive and get that stop, it's four points for your team. Take the shot over the middle, oh, intercept so pick. And right there we see the benefits of having the money drive on defense. All of a sudden, oh they went from down two possessions to a tie ball game with the ball back, and oh. Fast Houston has Uncle Mo, Uncle Momentum on his side. Oh, why? Oh, man. The, I mean, just a very, very head scratching uh, play right there. I'm not going to lie to you, but hey. Fast Houston making plays, and instantly they're back in the game with that money drive stop. I'm not sure if they called it or Cat Turnover, Cat Takeover called it, but you see right now it's a one-point game First we're dealing down. with. Oh, so, man, you can't throw a pick right there, though, can you? So I made a mistake there on the scoring. 14-13, that's six points for a pick, not seven. Yeah. But Fast Houston gets the ball back. That was Joseph Smith, the three-star Arizona State commit that I said before from Spring, Texas. He had seven picks and two picks, what? two pick sixes during his sophomore year last year. Wow. And gets a big one for his fast Houston squad in the opening matchup of week two, OT7, season three. So here we go, Karen. Four minutes, 20 seconds left in this game. Fast Houston down one with the ball. And I believe we have Tom standing by with Joseph Smith. Hey, thank you, fellas. I'm down here with Joseph Smith. You just had the interception on the money drive. Take me through the play. What happened? It was just, it was just Speed a blitz it up. I know my teammate made it. Ten made a good blitz, and I was able to get the pick. Is that kind of like you and deep as a, like, is that what you're known for? What? Some interception and everything? Most different, most different. They, they, like, they know not to throw my way. It's a pick every time. And you're committed to Arizona State. 30, what was that process 30, like? How'd you end up there? Uh, you know, my, my dog, Ken, he recruited me well. He brought me in the family, and not Arizona State family. And you guys went straight to the foam pit. Was that was that you going to the real cost foam pit, or was that someone else? Nah, that was me. That was me. All right, man. We'll let you get back to it. Joseph Smith, great job. Arizona State commit with a big interception. Back to you guys. Big third and ten here, and Kieran, we have a new QB in for Fast Houston. Actually, it's Furian and Ferreira, quarterback, originally out of Las Vegas, but now he's at Modern Day. Uh oh. Oh man. I I'm obsessed with this. Can't find a guy over there. He, I mean, he's 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 the future of Modern Day at quarterback. So I think you're going to see probably a five-star quarterback that's going to be playing at one of the biggest colleges in the country. Class of 2027. But I will say, Kieran, we saw we saw Carson Boyd get the first two drives. This is a tough spot for the young QB to just get thrown into this game, <laughs> needing a score, three minutes left. I don't know, maybe I would have gone like one game on, one game off when you have two QBs, like you kind of see up, Cat up. Takeover doing on their side with their two out, QBs. It is, it is a little interesting. Yeah, you throw you throw your freshman quarterback yeah. into a clutch situation, and right now he needs 10 yards. 10, going back shoulder, not on the same page with Taz Williams, and that is a turnover on downs. Man. That's a tough one right there. You know, his coach is upset with him, but that's a tough spot for the young QB. Right, go, go. His coach is yelling at him right now. <laughs> this, giving this him an great. earful. Giving him an earful right there, man. So, 14-13, Cat Takeover takes over uh -huh. with 20 minutes, uh, excuse me, with two minutes left from the 20-yard line. 
Out. The score here would be big. That's complete over the middle, inside the 10, and skates down to the five yard line. Chaz Davis slipping into the red zone. No, that was uh, Cam, Cam Williams, the running back there for uh, for, for Cat Takeover. You can, take, you can tell just the, the little, little shifty moves that he made in open space. Hey. Those running backs know how to make some people miss, man. <laughs> it was that was a crazy play. Cat take over now trying to put this game away, but I it's still not over though, Dave. It's still not over. They already used their money drive. Fast oh, Houston's gonna oh. have the ability to call their money drive if they score here. If I'm fast Houston, I'm letting them score right here. <laughs> Whatever it is, I let them score. I'm not trying to hold anything. Oh my Throws God, to the corner, bro. complete in for the score. That's Jalen Mickens. Smooth operation there from Cat Takeover. They get their job done. They do what they need to. But because they threw that interception on the money drive earlier, Fast Houston still has a chance to come back in this game right here. And I think we're going to see a money drive on this, on this drive right now. It should be a money drive, it right? It should be. There's no way they're not going to call a money drive, Tom. I don't, this coach is kind of scary. I was going to ask him, but he kind of stressing me out. No, they, so, okay. Oh, so, so my fault. Man, Fast Houston used their money oh, drive was on defense. defense. Got it, got it, got I didn't, it, got I didn't know they forced the, the money drive from, from Cat Takeover. Never mind. So they're going to have to go for a one point gamble, though. So sure. Yeah, yeah, one point gamble. Yep. You can go for the one point gamble right now. Just a reminder if you score, you can get one play from the 10 yard line. Essentially, our version of a two point conversion, taking a shot and a little bit too long to the sideline, and they're making a quarterback change in the middle of this drive here. Yeah, that, uh, Coach was not happy with that ball from Fury, and so he's calling Carson back, Carson Boyd right back in the game. I'm trying to do everything we got to do, dude. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I know. <laughs> so we're going to still see a lot of Inf Inferrera, but now we have Carson Boyd back speed it up, speed it up, speed it up. in the three star. He had the two touchdowns for Fast oh, yeah. Houston. They're the going snap, back to the snap. hot hand with under a minute left. Here we go, Kieran. Back to Carson oh, Boyd. Oh, Take oh, something yeah. easy over the middle. You know, you got 50 seconds here. This clock is going to run. You got to get back to the line. It's coming really quickly. But now they need to go down the field. They need to score. They need to get a two point, or the, the one point gamble. And they're still huddling up third and nine here. Yeah, the clock is just clock ticking right now. The is, clock is melting away. Is where we're you at, miss low pro. We're at 35 seconds. I like how they're taking their time, but they're taking a little bit too long. Yeah, a little bit too much time. Away. Taking the shot oh, deep. He's open. He's got his man. Oh, oh he bobbled he just it. Dropped it. Oh, my goodness. Dion DeBlanc. Wide receiver out of North Shore. Fun fact, he's actually he's actually Caleb Bailey, the Cat Takeover's quarterback's teammate. But man, that is so close. He be, he gets the foot down too. He just doesn't oh, no. hold on to the ball. If he can, oh. if he possessed it. Oh my goodness. If he possessed it when the ball initially hit his hands, he did have a foot in bounds. But Kieran, this is the ball game right here. Fourth and nine, needing to get to the 20-yard line. Bass Houston down eight. 23 seconds left. Yeah. And with 23 seconds on the clock, you can still use the middle of the field. Away. You're just going to have to go fast. They uh, tried to right there. He threw DeBlanc's hand again. And Cat Takeover is probably going to take this game. Cat Takeover of 21 13. First and, one, first and, one. and it looks like it will stay that way. Take another look. The throw is a little bit one, high and outside, one. but that would have been yeah. enough for first, first down one. yardage. Man, and just through the Blanc's hands, both first times. One, man, once in the end zone, once right there. Back so no, no, close no, no, no. for Fast 21. Houston, man. And they made the plays to give themselves the an 20 opportunity 20 to down. go win. Getting that interception on the money drive that they called, but just not enough right there at the end. So for Cat Takeover, we came into this game <laughs> talking so much about Caleb you know, Bailey. They now. go out here and get the win with their <laughs> other QB, Lorenzo Aguirre. Hey. Impressive win for him. Now, here's the thing, though. We had a rule. We have one other rule change, although we have one other rule change from last week to this week. Yes. Because if you watched last week, you saw a lot of teams essentially taking a knee, just taking the sack under a minute left. We said we don't want games to end that way. That's no, no fun. <laughs> if you don't get positive yardage on a sack with under a minute left, the clock stops and the lead. If you're leading and you don't get positive yardage on that last drive, within like under a minute the clock is nine. away lorenzo aguirre getting to one yard short of the first down but it will not matter the clock will continue to run and cat takeover 
will win this one in pool play. They're trying to throw one more. They're not going to get it off. <laughs> they were trying to take one shot they, at the end zone. They, they just care about their point differential. 100%. 21-13 is the final cat takeover. Picks up the dub over Fast Houston. Entertaining game to kick off week two here in Dallas, Texas. But don't go anywhere. We've got Fast 1 and uh, Phase 1 and Fast Houston coming up next. You're not going to want to miss that one. Stay tuned. Welcome back to more OT7 football. We just seen an amazing matchup with Cat and Fast Houston. Mo, we seen some great quarterback play and a good overall game. What was your breakdown? What did you take away from that game? Man, it was a really good game. Cat jumped out to an early lead, 14-0. I think they need a little warm-up from that first game they tied. And I was really impressed with Lorenzo, man. Really young quarterback. He stepped in. He didn't play the first game. Threw it to some really big targets. I know they're missing a lot of their high-profile receivers, but guys like Dwayne and Romello really stepped up. Huge frames, 6'3", 6 6'4", 6 guys who have some offers early on, but I'm expecting to blow up after this weekend. Now, it was kind of a controversy call. It was a kind of a controversy call to put in a QB that hasn't got any runs, a younger guy, and in Ferreira, and he wasn't able to capitalize. But what do you think about the coach's decision to take out the quarterback that already had a rhythm and then put in a new quarterback for a huge drive like that? Man, Inferrera has so much hype in the Southern California area. He's a young guy, 2027 20, freshman out of modern day. Everyone knows that's the premier school, at least for quarterbacks. That's where uh, Bryce Young went, all, Matt Liner, all these Heisman guys, all these uh, top quarterbacks in LA. So he's the next guy up. I was excited to see him play. It's just as a quarterback, I don't like throwing a guy in late like that. I want, I want to gain rhythm. I want you to start, feel, feel the pace of the game. So it wasn't the right setting, and I know they pulled him at the end. Um, but I think as the weekend goes on, I'm hoping he finds his rhythm. Absolutely. Let's take a look at the upcoming schedule so we can see what other games we got coming up for you guys because today is going to be a crazy day, a lot of matchups that I know I'm looking forward to see. Okay. And, Mo, one thing about that I'm excited is for all of the quarterback duos we got, as we look at the schedule, we see we got Doughboys going up against Cat. We got Phase 1 and Fast. We got Cat Trillion. And we got Boom and Huncho. It's going to be a lot of games coming today. Are you looking forward to any of these at all? I am, man. So yeah. Bass is playing next, actually. I want to see how they respond. And like you said, with that quarterback situation, um, they got Fury in there. They got Caleb. Um, you know, they got committed to Illinois. Uh, three, four-star recruits. So I want to see how they respond. And I want to see them get Nate Roberts involved, too, the Notre Dame commit at tight end. Everyone knows that's tight end you. He's a big frame, 6'4", six, 6'5", six, dude. Um, and he was open, man. I was there on the field. He's getting separation. So I want to see... I want to see them feed him and get him more involved. If anybody knows somebody open, of course, it's you, right? The quarterback is showing there. I'm excited to see Trillian. We seen him last week. I want to see him back this week. If I was to take an early gamble of who wins it all this weekend, I'm leaning towards Trillian, man. Hey, bro, they got a crazy roster full of nothing but four stars, five stars. Raw's always in that competition, but I want to see Trillian and Raw at the end. That's the battle everybody wants to see anyway, right? So that's going to be a big matchup. I'm biased from Miami, Florida, but the SFE Raw matchup, last game of the day, to me that's the premier matchup. All four and five stars, the future receivers and DBs of the NFL. Um, that's the one I'm really excited about. All right, guys, don't go nowhere. More football coming up after this. Phase one in Fast Houston. See you guys later. Peace. I didn't even mean to throw it. Got to keep your challenge flag somewhere safe, coach. That's a rookie mistake. Snickers, official chocolate of OT7. Overtime Tom here for a break in the action. A turnover can change the momentum of an entire game. If there's one weak link, the whole team suffers. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can damage your lungs and the team. All right, let's go back to OT7. How do you do? Welcome to OT7 Season 3, Week 2, live from Dallas, Texas. We have the very best high school football prospects in the country descending on the Lone Star State. And we have two great teams 
in this second game of week two between Bass Houston and phase one. Not only looking to put their name on the map, but rep their team and compete for an OT7 championship. I'm Alex Day, joined by my man, Kieran Hickey Sample. Kieran, how are you doing here in week two? I'm doing amazing, man. Week two, we're back again with more spring football. I can't complain. It's going to be a good time. We just saw Fast Houston play. They came up a little bit short against Cat Takeover. They're looking to get redemption right now against a strong Phase 1 team. Yes, Phase 1 coming out of Las Vegas, Nevada. A lot of people are hyping up Low Pro, and for good reason. They've won four OT7 events. This team out of Nevada claims that they not only beat Low Pro earlier this season, but they are the team to beat out of the Nevada area. It is their OT7 debut, and I'm excited to see if they can get the job done out here on this OT7 football field. And on the other side of the ball, Bass Houston. We just saw them play. We just saw them come up a little bit short to cat take over. This team, unquestionably talented, unquestionably uh, one of the best teams in seven on seven year after year. Can they get the job done though after a slow start? Five seconds. Let's see what they can do. We are ready to go. Both teams go. are ready. You hear the horn and let's get it going. Bass Houston with the ball here early. And that's Furian and Ferreira starting out with a shot over the middle and not on the same page as his receiver. So if you just saw the last game, Fast Houston has two QBs. They have the young Furian and Ferreira, a star for modern day in the class of 2027. And they have Carson Boyd. Carson Boyd looked a little sharper last game. They're starting out with Inferrera here in yeah. game two against phase one. I think, it, to be honest, I think it was a little unfair to Inferrera to kind of throw him in there. Three minutes left, he had to kind of come in in a clutch situation and make things happen. Didn't really have a chance to warm up and get himself into the game. This game, he's going to have that opportunity. No question he's an insanely talented quarterback. Only a result. freshman as well. Excited to see what he can do because he can absolutely spin that ball. Oh, did he get touched? They said he did not get touched. Oh, my goodness. We'll have to take another look. They touch him down just shy of first down yardage. Kobe Howard turned on the burner. She was sliding. Fun fact, Cat Takeover's coach just came into the booth earlier and said, we're the real team from Houston. So Fast Houston, a lot to play for right now because they just got a little disrespected. I'm not going to lie. He just snuck past him and our very own uh, Lily, overtime Lily Marks, who runs the OT7 social page, just walked by the broadcast booth and said, just missed him. That'll bring up third and one here. And that's complete for first down yardage. So to get a first down here at OT7, you have to get to the opposing 20. We have a 40 yard field. And that will bring up first and goal from the 16 yard line for the young QB for modern day. Yeah, I want to see what Julian can, or not, not Julian, no, Furian can get out here and do. He's he has got he's got he's got all of the intangibles, man. Being 6'3 is only a freshman in high school. How tall were you your freshman year in high school, Dave? Uh the same height I am now. I've grown wow. One, I've grown one inch since eighth grade. I was like 5'10 my up, freshman up, year, then I ended up growing 6'3 by the time I graduated. Snap, but you know, snap. I used all that athletic potential to play golf. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, when you're 5'10, five, 5'11, five, that screams shortstop, not it, football. It is what it is, you know? Running, running. And Ferreira over the middle, that is complete to Taz Williams. So Taz Williams is a name you will hear a lot today. Four-star wideout from Red Oak, Texas. 5'11", 181. Kieran, he has 54 offers from schools like Michigan, Ohio State, USC, Penn State, class of 2025, and we've been really impressed with him here today. He's the go-to guy on the offense for this team. It's going to be him, it's going to be Amari Winston, and it's going to be Nate Roberts, the tight end that you saw get targeted on that third and one. They have an elite Squadron of weapons. As they squadron. Always, squadron. This is fast Houston, though. They always have elite guys. Jalen Waddle played for this team. Garrett Wilson played for this team. Some of the best guys in Texas, some of the best guys around the country play come to play for fast Houston, and they do really, really well. Taz Williams, he's the next in the long line of those guys. Now, that was intended for Amari Winston, and you're a big fan of Amari Winston, Big, big, huh? big Amari ball, Winston red, guy. Ball, Texas what, 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 yeah, why is that, Kieran? Why is that? I don't, I don't know. Is I that because you're a Longhorns <laughs> fan? <laughs> it might be because I am a Longhorn diehard truther with an honorary degree from the University of Texas. <laughs> the number 15 tight end in his class of 2025, the four-star. A little too tall for him there. Look at this formation out here. They're running quads, quads. Right? yeah, to the right. On the run. He's got a little daylight. And he is touched down just inside the five yard line. Oh, now they're saying he's in. I do think they hit his towel. I think. Does the towel count? It seems like the defender stopped running at him, thinking that he caught him, but. Kieran, let's take another look right here. 
Nah, that's not a touch to me. Oh, but I think I didn't see they, they I got the towel touch. eyes on the account. Here we go. Let's take a look. Let's see it from this angle one more time. Oh, Tom, I'm not sure. He might have gotten touched down no, at the period. one. Did you get in? Oh, 100%, 100%. He didn't tag me. Oh. There you go. <laughs> I got the answers. <laughs> 7 nothing. Fast Houston takes the early lead, and phase one will take over on offense. Away! Nice oh, throw oh, and oh. catch. Tight window. That's Antonio Span with the catch. Very, very close there. As you saw, Cade Phillips, DB from Fast Houston, may try to make a diving seven, play seven, to seven. get a hand on that ball. Nice ball, yes, though. Nice ball. Let's throw it down to overtime, Tom, who I think has some breaking news. What? Hey, fellas, I am down here with Big Nate Roberts, who just committed an hour ago to Ohio State. Can you explain to me how this all happened? Yeah. yeah. Congratulations, by the way. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, Speed but it's up. been uh, it exciting for me. Um, Speed it up. Speed Ohio it up. State's always been kind of like that front runner uh, team for me. So I've uh, been out there about six times. But after that last visit last weekend, I knew, I knew that it was a spot for me. You got a big Ohio State fan next to you. <laughs> Sniper Jones over there, dapping him up because he's happy that O State has enough. Big hugs, big yeah, Buckeye yeah, hugs. It's, it's been great. Um, they've always <laughs> been that front runner for me. They've they've been great in the recruiting process. Uh, so that's like it's my home away from home for sure. I love it. I love it. They've obviously got one of the best classes in the country year in and year out. Um, who who? When did you make this decision? And who'd you let know first? Tell me a little about that. Yeah, so um, last. Friday. Um, talking to my parents, I was on the visit, uh, just a couple day visit. Talking to my parents, I was like, I think this is my spot for me. I'm going to commit, and they're 100% for it. So I talked to Kenny Bailey, the tight ends coach. He was super pumped for me. Then I went into Coach Day's room, talked with him, and he was pumped for me. I uh, talked to the whole offensive staff. They were uh, super excited for me. So uh, they were all pumped for me. So, so you, you did it about a week ago, but you had some time to kind of hide it. I like that. Now your first time on the field here. Do you feel like a weight lifted off? Do you feel a little bit better? Yeah, yeah. So uh, I definitely feel weight lifted off. It was kind of stressful out there uh, at one point. But uh, just now that I'm committed, I can just focus on football in my senior season and just getting better at football. Yeah. It's a big thing for me. I love it. If there's one thing you got to work on now to get ready for college, what is it? it? Uh, just, uh, I think, strength and uh, feet work. I think those are my two things. So, lots of work on that. I love it. Nate Roberts committed to Ohio State. Congratulations, man. Back to you guys in the booth. Congratulations, future Buckeye. We have a second goal right here. Stowers taking the shot. Oh, nearly reeled in. What a catch that would have been by Dominic Oliver. Yeah, Dom, Dominic Oliver is one of the go-to targets that they have over here. And if he would have brought that in, it would have been the greatest catch in OT7 history. The way he extended out there after turning his hips, put his right arm out. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. If he would have caught that, it would have been crazy. He goes by Domo, and he could play all over the field. And that was nearly an all-time catch. Kieran. Third and goal for Stowers. Up one, up one. QB up that one, you're, up one, you've been really excited about. I've been excited to see him because they, they, they've been telling me yeah. if Micah Eugenio, the quarterback of Low Pro, is the number one quarterback in the state of Nevada Wait. moving forward. They're saying Stowers is an unquestionable number two. Oh, my goodness. Trey McNutt almost got that. Trey McNutt with the full extension. And I've been dying to talk about Trey McNutt though, day. <laughs> but Stowers right now, quarterback, he, he's he is – Starting to figure things out a little bit later, you know. He's had 2,117 2, yards, 21 touchdowns, second in the state of Nevada, probably only behind Micah Alejado, the quarterback that we saw last year yep. with Defcon and whatnot. Micah hey, Eugenio and AJ Stowers, the top two quarterbacks in the state of Nevada. I'm excited to see these guys possibly do battle later on in the OT7 season. I got four down here. Flip. There is a little bit of confusion. They thought it was a turnover, but this brings up fourth down right here. So they're bringing the offense back on the field. I'm not going to put you in position right here. I don't think Fast Houston got the memo. They're going to decide to flip the field. Wait, they're flipping the field on fourth and short? Oh, Kieran, Kieran. Nah, that doesn't make sense. Kieran, what are they doing? They needed like two yards, and they decided to flip the field. And now Fast Houston will take take over off the way we got to get off the way oh man fast Houston will take over with the lead and fair wasn't expecting the snap takes a oh, shot deep has Williams Taz Williams. Williams no way house call Tasmanian Devil. Oh, Taz oh my goodness and they're jumping into the pit what a play from Fast Houston. That play was straight chaos, and Ferrer was not expecting the snap. Bobbled it, picks it up. Actually, didn't even bobble it, straight up dropped it. Picks it up land? and finds Taz Williams wide open in the back of the end zone. 
I'm not sure if it was a blown coverage, but there is no way you can let him split the defense like that. Oh, man. No, I, I don't know. That seems kind of planned. I'm not going to lie. That might have been planned. Snapped into him, and then he just kind of looks at it with his hands out like, oh, well, how'd this get here? I don't know. I don't know. Four, that might have been planned. 14 nothing fast Houston, and that is why you have to go for it on fourth down right. if you're phase one. Ooh, the AJ little man. <laughs> AJ finds this guy, Harley Fisher, yeah. over the middle. 2027, that's a freshman. Now, Kieran, I will say, they submitted. That's Tom Sutt out there playing football. He's he smaller than Niles Newman. That's what Mo just told me. <laughs> they submitted the height and weight for every player on their team. Nothing for Harley Fisher. No, but guess what? The stats count. That's stats. The only, those are the only numbers I care about. Right now, he's got a catch. He's quick. He's from Vegas. Just about this whole team for phase one is from Vegas. Speed it up. Speed it up. Now, they picked up the loss earlier today in pool play over mid against Midwest Boom. What? And I think we have Tom standing by with Taz Williams, who just had that house call for seven. Hey, fellas, I'm down here with Taz Williams. Big touchdown just now. Did you see that Furian drop the ball? Did you know that that happened? Okay. Oh, we had the motion, and the center snapped. I'm like, oh, what's going on? And then I seen him. He picked it up. I just ran. Wait, was that always the play for you just to go deep, or, or did you make it? deep, yeah. Oh, yeah, I supposed to run the post. Had you run the goal right? He threw that uh, ball and I got it scored. All right, now show me the Shador. We got a watch on here. Uh oh. A little bit of ice, real quick. Uh -oh. what, what's Sheesh. going on here? It's just something I do. I like to stand out a little bit. So, uh, it's something I do. Oh, is it fake? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, anyway, give me like a year and a half, a half a year. I'm here so I'm better. Make sure right they're. Here. <laughs> I promise you, right now, this, yeah, just give me like a year and a half. Yeah, make sure there's, there's no uh, no ice on it whenever you get the real one, though. I'm just like, we you know. love it, we love it. Hey, if it, it was real, I don't know if you'd be able to play with it, so it's all good. So, how are you feeling about how, how the team's been playing so far, and how are you doing? Our team playing great. We lost first game, but we're going to shake back, though, uh, today and tomorrow. And me, I play, I'm playing good. I'm just going to start it. I love it. I love the, uh, the lob there in the foam pit. Let's talk about that. Like, actually, right before the play, like, hey, when we score on this play, we're going to throw the lob. And we ended up scoring, so I just threw the lob to him. I love it, man. Taz Williams, great job. Quick touchdown there. We'll let you get back to it. Back to you guys in the booth. Big fourth and eight, Kieran. I know we said that was a store, but I think that was more up, Dion. Look good, feel good, feel good, play good. <laughs> I like how he admitted that wasn't real. You got to feel good when you're on the field. No, 100%. You got to feel good. I think actually, for <laughs> fun fact for phase one, I think the only dude maybe smaller than Harley Fisher might be the center. Oh, got some daylight, and he is down inside the five-yard line. Big completion. Touchdown right at the one. That's Tavia McNair. That's the other target that they have here. These two guys, they're not the highest ranked. They're first, not going to have all the buzz goal. and whatnot. But Dominic Oliver and Tavia McNair are the superstars of this offense. And these are the guys that AJ Sowers is going to be hitting consistently. And phase one, just like Low Pro, out of Nevada, slept on, not really highly recruited. They're going to show up and they're going to play good football. Stowers rolls left. What? The lefty throws it to the corner. Oh, my goodness. He almost brought that in one handed. That was. He might have got a foot in, too. That was close. That was Domo again. Man, that was crazy. They've been looking at him a lot in the red zone. We'll take another look. Kieran, it, it was definitely close. One hand. Oh, that's a, oh. That's a catch. That's, that's a, a catch. catch. That's a catch. That was a touchdown. That's a catch. They're going to call it a touchdown on the field. And they ruled a touchdown. Wow. They changed it. What a catch. Look at this. One-handed wow. extension. Gets the left foot inbounds. And easy. Touchdown there from Domo, Dominic Oliver. Karen, you were Bates on it one. early. Back, I, it looked like a catch to me when I first saw it. I was like, man, that was close. It was very close. Man, this is why I love OT7, though. Instant review, instant touchdown. Give the guys the credit, man. Just a reminder, we have a full day of action here on YouTube. We've got games at 12, 12.30, 1 o'clock Eastern. Trillion boys involved, Raw involved. Boom involved. You're not going to want to miss that. And don't forget, 4 o'clock Eastern, we are back on NFL Network. Games at 4 o'clock Eastern, 5 o'clock Eastern. You're not going to want to miss those. SFE versus Grand Elite, level 82 versus Raw. That'll be on NFL Network at 4 o'clock Eastern. They done messed around and let us get on TV. Oh, crazy decision. Uh, crazy. <laughs> Absolutely crazy decision. Kobe Howard with another catch. He's becoming the go-to target for these guys. Him and Taz Williams starting, and 13, starting to take over right now. Now, Kieran, if you just watched the last game, you heard this rule, but we have a new rule that we're bringing to OT7. Today is the first day we've ever done it. If you know about OT7, you know about the money drive. The gold ball comes out. 
10 points for a touchdown, some defensive scoring. But today, you can also use your money drive on defense. Yes. Which is an interesting wrinkle. We saw it play out just as we intended to in the last game. I thought this could have been a spot the defense could use it. Looking for Howard, incomplete here. If you were on defense here, phase one down a touchdown, this could have been a spot to use it down a score with six minutes left. It could have been a spot to use it right now. I think six minutes is a little long. They can still wait to use it on offense, but I do agree with you. You can make this a really close game. I just, you need to get a stop here regardless though. It's fine if you get a stop, you're still gonna have to go down the field to score. Third and 13, needing to get to the 20 yard line. Big time down right here. You know, I'm okay with the so teams the taking the deep shots. Up, yep. If my strategy as a defensive coordinator in OT7 or 7 on 7 football is I'm going to take away everything from 5 to 10 yards. If I can take away everything from 5 to 10 yards, I'm going to make things a whole lot harder. Taz is forcing a fourth down. That's Dion DeBlanc. will bring up fourth and five. They are going to go for it, and this is a massive play massive. this game. This is a huge momentum shifting play right now. Keep your eye on Taz Williams, number one. He has been the go-to target all day, especially in the short yardage situation. Is that who you're going to right here? That's who I'm going to. He's lined up to the far left. I like the fact that at the top of your screen, you have a one-on-one -on -one with your 6'4 tight end. He was open, too. He just got missed late. They're going to take a deep shot. Oh, my goodness, and he had to block in the end zone. He just cannot connect right now. Overthrowing the three-star in the class of 2025 from Houston. He wishes he had that one back. Oh. He's got offers from Arizona State, Kansas, a bunch of other schools. But they cannot connect and don't look now. But phase one will take over. And Kieran, with four minutes left, I know we were talking about phase one, potentially using their money drive on defense. I may be, well. I would've used my money drive right here on offense. I, I would've used my so money drive take a on shot though. Oh my so guys, God. down here, the center actually pressed his coach and asked, coach, are you doing money drive? And coach said, absolutely not. Now, I don't know. if you use absolutely. the money drive, you have to start at the 10 yard line, but that's only 15 yards back. Right now, you're starting at midfield. This would have been the time to use it, in my opinion, with four minutes left and really second put the five, pressure. On maybe, the maybe he wants to win the game with his defense. That might be what it is. The real, the real head scratcher would be if he doesn't call a defensive money drive after this. Absolutely, absolutely. Now, if they score and then go for a one-point gamble, that wouldn't make sense either. Yeah, it would. We got the Trillion Boys walking in right now. All looking Ugh. at us, I got a Stowers over the middle. That's complete. That'll first get goal, them a new set goal. of downs and bring up a first and goal from inside the 20. Trillian first might not 16, win a game this week. 16. You, wow. <laughs> I, I have a hot take. Okay, yeah, I know. I, I, think it's, I think it's going to be the OT7 rivalry that's not really a rivalry, but we want it to be a rivalry. Trilly, Raw Miami, I got them in the championship. Hey, pick our, cha pick our champs. I got Boom. I already said it. Boom's winning I'm all the time. I'm taking Trilly. I'm taking Trilly to win the whole thing this week. Mm. Day? Speed it up. You going with the favorite mm. SFE? No, I can never do that. I never go with the favorite. I'm not chalky like that. I Before this started, I'm, I said Cat takeover. Stowers taking a shot deep. Cat has looked fine. They, they're missing some guys. They, they're missing some guys, and they've looked good. I thought they were going to look great. You know what, I'll stick with them, but I'm gonna need them to turn on the Jets a little bit. I think the biggest question mark of the weekend, though, is gonna be what SFE do we see? Yep. yep. SFE, we saw them first year, extremely talented. They're going to have all the superstars on the field. JV French is pulling up. He's at Dallas, Texas right now, ready to play at OT7. I want to see what SFE we get. If it's SFE of last year, they're not winning a game. And by the way, <laughs> it's the SFE that we saw snap, two years ago in snap. Vegas. They could, they could really make a push. I know what SFE we're going to see. We're going to see SFE on NFL Network. That's what we're That's what see. I'm excited to see, baby. Wait. Stowers taking a shot to the corner. A little bit overthrown. We've seen a lot of these deep balls have a little bit too much juice on them today. Yeah, uh, the, the wind is gusting out here, but yeah, Stowers is just getting a little bit too much, uh, too much juice on those balls. <laughs> Third and goal. Flinch, hey, hey chat, let me know real quick. Do you think phase one is going to get in the end zone? We got third and goal. You're going to go post it. Hey, you're going to go get that corner. 
It's always interesting how these teams call plays. Some teams use hand motions, some teams hold up a piece of paper. Some coaches just say, hey, you're doing this and you're doing that. Bowers, Pat, 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 finds his wow, guy in the job, end coach. zone. What a play, Scott Holper, his first catch of the game. Gets them in the end zone. This is a tie ball game now. Hey, man. we're going to get a one point gamble, I think, here. No. Nope. Never mind. They want. I ain't let this do it, coach. Come on. And AJ Stowers wants to go for it, but coach says no. All right, so Fast Houston will get the ball with one minute left. Now. With a tie ball game, we do not do overtime here in pool play. Is he not calling a defensive money drive? I don't understand. Oh, they, so Fast Houston did, you, you, if you ask, you shall receive, Ken. Phase one uses their defensive money drive just as we talked about here. So if Fast Houston scores, they will presumably win. If the defense gets the stop or pick, they are, will add four or six or maybe even 10 points. This is a massive possession in the ball game. Honestly, this is the ball game. This is, this is the staple of a good team. A good, a good team wins with their offense. A great team wins with their defense. Now we said it really only made sense to not use their money drive on offense if they were gonna use it here on defense. That is what they're doing. It'll be a second and 20 for Bass Houston. That's complete over the middle, 11 yard gain. Clock is running. Fast Houston needs to move with a little tempo here with 45 seconds left. It'll bring up a third and nine, and they're going back to the huddle, drawing up plays. Tick, 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 tick. 35 seconds left, milking the clock here. You gotta wonder if they're gonna take a deep shot with how slow they're going. I'm okay with I'm okay with milking the clock right here though because worst case scenario if I rush oh oh did he drop that? He dropped it. It'll bring up Kobe Howard. It will bring up fourth down. That would have been enough for first down yardage. And this is the ball game. A stop will give will give Phase One the lead. Yeah, this is the money drive. That's Let's why go. I was okay Let's with go. running the clock We're down. The I'm okay with running the clock down in this situation. You needed to have that catch right there. But running the clock down in this situation gives you an opportunity to, okay, I can just score on the last play. I don't have to worry about getting a stop and giving the defense four points. Fourth big play right here for Carson Boyd. Oh, and he's again. dropped again! And phase one takes the lead on two drops from Kobe Howard. The four-star wideout. Oh, and he was having such a good game before this as well. The four-star wideout had a drive to forget right oh. there. He has been, oh, so the ball was actually tipped there by Amari Winston. Oh my goodness. That's a tough break for Fast Houston. But uh, well, thing, though, Winston, Fast what? Houston have their money drive still, so they can call it on defense. I don't know why they aren't calling it on defense. I don't know why they are calling it on defense right now. They haven't used their money drive already. Might as well, they have not used it. I don't and know what Fast Houston, use it. and they're not going <laughs> to use it. They're not going to use it. That is complete. Oh, that's, well, that, that's, that's all she wrote. That is all she wrote. The clock will tick down. And that's going to be game for phase one. Now, don't go anywhere because Cat Takeover and Trillion Boys are coming up next. But to the full pit, they go. Phase one sneaks by 18-14, a thriller here in game two of week two at OT7 in Dallas. What a game. What a game. Crazy action here in the early morning. Don't go anywhere. We've got Trillion Boys. We've got Cat Takeover. They're coming up next. Don't go anywhere. Hello, everybody. Welcome back. I am Jolie Live. I am joined by the one and only Sniper Jones. What's going on? We just watched Phase 1 beat Fast Houston. Amazing game. What did we think? 
Man, it was such an up and down game. Both quarterbacks definitely could have played better. I really don't know why Fast Houston decided to switch out their quarterback so many times. It was like, soon as somebody get a rhythm, they'll take them out. And then when they get a rhythm, they'll take them out. And we've seen so many drop footballs, the game could have went either way. But phase one, I mean, they, they capitalized the most of the mistakes. That's all I can say, Jolie. We had a big moment an hour ago, tight end Nate Roberts committed to, you know, your school, Ohio State, big Very fan. Very emotional moment. You know, uh, I had to embrace him. You yep. know, uh, Ohio State, if you know me, you know I'm an O-State guy through and through. And we get a lot of decommits for no reason. It's the worst decision you can ever make in life, decommitting from a school like that. But I had to go and talk to Nate the Great. That's his new nickname. I saw the hug. I saw the right, hug. Right? I saw the Nate hug. the Great is his new nickname for everybody, just in case you want to know. He now only goes by Nate the Great. And he's going to, you know, be, be an Ohio State guy, Buckeye. So I, I was excited about that. There we go. Ohio State's getting a good one. Now we're going to take a look at the upcoming schedule for today. We have Cat Takeover coming up. Or we have Cat Takeover up against Trillion Boys coming up next. Midwest Boom later on today against Huncho Elite. Now, Sniper, we have Cat Takeover Trillion Boys. What should we look out for in that game? Man, this is going to be a good game because I believe, I feel like I'm the only person that believes this, but I believe that Trillion Boys will win it all. And that's why we got a big time game with Trillion Boys and Midwest Boom coming up. So don't forget about, do not forget to watch that. That's going to be the premier game you guys want to watch Trillion Boys, Midwest Boom. But Trillion has everything in order to win this. They got the five stars, they got the four stars, they got the energy, the coaches, you'll see them talking the entire game. Coach Stupin, he's a loud talker. What do you think we're gonna get from Stupin today? Stupin, hey, um, if you, if if NFL or, or football coaches can get technical fouls or tossed out the game, he would not be here. He would, he would not, he would be coaching from FaceTime. He would be at the hotel. He's a big energy guy, but you know, the, the guys love playing for him and his team has everything to win, Jolie. Well, thank you, Sniper, love your opinion and back to the guys. All right, Joey, you're running a button hook, all right? Tommy, back quarter fade. Billy, you're going to pump fake and then hit. Coach, you don't remember my name, do you? I got 12 touchdowns this year. That's a rookie mistake. You're going to hit Nick. Nick, that's who you're going to hit. Snickers, the official chocolate of OT7. Overtime Tom here for a break in the action. A turnover can change the momentum of an entire game. If there's one weak link, the whole team suffers. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can damage your lungs and the team. All right, let's go back to OT7. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Dallas, Texas for another game at OT7. We got a great one right now coming up with Cat Takeover and the Trillium Boys. Chili out here in a new uniform. I can't wait for everyone to see that. These teams are fighting to win OT7 Dallas Week 2 and punch their ticket to the OT7 Championship in Tampa in June. I am your host, Overtime Tom, and I got my guys Mo Hassan and Bunchy Young here. Mo, how you doing? What's up, guys? We got one of the best matchups here all weekend. I can't wait to watch. I love it. And Bunchy, first time in the yes, booth. Sir. How we doing? I'm doing great, man. Super excited to be here to watch a lot of teams play. Yep. Of course, of course. And Bunchy, you were here last week playing, and you faced off against, or you saw Trillion Boys play. Tell me what you think about them. I think they're good. They got Madden Williams, Jonas Smith, and, you know, the freshman phenom, Ryan Rakowski. So I think they're going to be great today. They are a great squad. They had a little bit of a disappointing week uh, last time. They went 2-2-1. Two, two, and one. Let's see if they can turn around today. And then Cat Takeover, what do you think, Mel? Yeah, Caleb Bailey's the quarterback. He's, uh, he has a lot of experience. He's been starting since his freshman year at North Shore, one of the top high schools in Texas. Offers from Auburn and a bunch of other SEC schools. So I'm excited to see him take on a really talented defense in Philly. 100%. And again, we got two teams that I think both of them believe that they could win. I got, I need everyone in the YouTube chat right now to comment. Who do you guys think is going to win? Trillion Boys or Cat Takeover? This should be an excellent one, guys. I need your pick. Mo, who you got? Ooh, I'm rolling with Trillion. I think Ryan Rakowski is going to have a big game. He's going to build off of a strong weekend of last weekend. Yes, and uh, they're off for revenge. And Bunchy, who you got? I, I got Trillion. You know, you know, Cali boys, I always got to stay with home. And I think they got a great offense and great defense to uh, match up with Cat. So. I am rocking with Cat Takeover. But Ooh. Trillion Boys will start it off here is Ryan Rakowski getting things going. Right. Madden Williams. Now, Madden Williams last week, he had eight touchdowns. He led all of OT7 week one Second with and TDs. Uh, Mo, as a quarterback, are you uh, are you looking for your guy? That's his guy, Madden Williams and Jonah Smith. Um, they got the majority of the targets. And like you said, Madden had 
the most touchdowns. Better so that's a good first completion to get into rhythm. And Bunchy, you know a little bit about Ryan Rakowski, the quarterback, freshman. Yes, what yes, can you sir. tell me about him? Uh, I think he's a great quarterback. He's a freshman. He's really young. Um, he has a really good arm, and he's really accurate. So I think he's going to be great. And in the chat right now, we got Jared Brunson picking Trillium Boys. We got Sal Radiski saying Cat will blow them out. And we got Caleb Five. Hollingsworth saying go Trilly. So here we go, Ryan Rakowski. Uh -oh. Getting things going. Already? Um. There you go. Hey, I got to know. First of all, we got two great looking teams out here. Bungie, which uniforms are you rocking with? I'm rocking with Cat Takeover's uniforms. I really like it. It's the Miami style vibes, you know, got the little teal color. I like it. So the Miami Vice. The, yes. the little Miami. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, so Cat had a couple games earlier today, and the quarterbacks were in this fit, but the players were not. I think they wanted to change it up here for game number three, and, and I love it, of course. And then Trillian boys in, in their classics, looking solid as always. Um, we see Josh Stupin out there calling the plays for Trillian boys. Bunchy, uh, you played for my guy. I see my guy a few times. What, what do you think about Coach Stupin? Uh, coach Stupin is he's really a turned up coach. Um, he be turned up. He be. I feel like it's hard to play in that environment, but hey, they win sometimes. So you know, if you can play in that environment with Coach. Stupin, Stupid, you play anybody. And there's Ryan Rakowski finding his other man, Jonah Smith, the UCLA commit. Oh, I know you goal, like his game. Goal. Look at that touch he just put over that nickel outside team. linebacker. Goal, that's rare for a young guy. I think that's why Lane Kiffin and Rhett Lashley from SMU offer him so early. Yep. It is a great ball from Ryan Rakowski. We also got a great day out here in Dallas. Yes, sir. It is beautiful out here. And I need to know everyone in the chat, what state or country, where are you watching from? If you uh, if you guys can let us know where you're watching from in the chat, I want to see where everyone's uh, tuning in the OT7 for today. Turn the snap, turn the snap. And Trillian boys have a nice little drive going here. <laughs> Away. Ooh, that was a nice catch. Um, Bunchy, you, you, uh, you got to see a receiver out there. Sure. Second you got good hands? I have great hands, in my opinion. You know, I, last weekend, I didn't drop one pass. I was I was one of the only receivers on my team to not drop a pass. Second and eight. And last week was your first time playing OT7. What was it like being out here, being on the field, competing against all the guys? I loved it, actually. I liked the environment. You know, it was fun. It was a fun atmosphere. All the music going and you know, all just competition. It was really fun. Okay. Number nine. Oh. Now, we talked about it a lot last week, how, uh, how when you get into the, this eight, red zone eight. In, within 10 yards, how the field shrinks a little bit. What's Ryan looking for? Yeah, you're going to see a lot of option routes targeting the middle of the field, that soft spot between those Mike and Sam linebackers, a lot of pick routes, posts, wheels. You and sometimes when you, you just have a dude ball. like Not Madden or Jonah, you just want to get a one-on-one -on -one and throw it there. Run it to your hitch. Yeah. What do you like right now? Well, let's let's time, see the personnel we got. Speed it up. Speed it up. I like Jonah in the middle. Ten snap. Ten snap. Okay. Man, he's you just said Jonah in the middle. There's a Five, soft spot right there. Two, four. So watch Jonah three. Smith. Ooh, 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 ooh. Away. Got him. And there you go. <laughs> and Coach Stupin dials one up. And Ryan Rakowski to the UCLA commit Jonah Smith for an easy seven to give Trillian boys a nice little lead here. And they're rolling after uh, after last week. Yeah, stupid and underrated play caller. It was interesting <laughs> being on the field and watching him operate. What do you think uh, playing for him, Bunchy? I think, like I said, he's a really good play caller. He just really, like, turned up. But, it's, you know, he, he gets the job done. We, we need a uh, touchdown, he's there. So. And now we are going to introduce the fourth member of our broadcast, Jolie Live, who's down on the field. Jolie, how are we doing? Hello, Tom. I'm so excited to be down here. I love it. I love it. It's your first time out here at OT7 uh, this season. What do you think? I'm thinking, I mean, the boys are showing out right now. Some quarterback changes, some interceptions. Yep. Everything's looking good. And I asked the guys already, but which, uh, between the two up, uniforms, please, which one are you rocking with? I'm kind of rocking with the Trillium boys. Seven, I like the blue. Seven. I love it, I love it. And then the On3 power rankings, which uh, On3 is the recruiting service that knows everything about 7-on-7 seven seven high school sports. Uh, they do our rankings top 10. Jolie, what do you think about these? I mean, I see FSFE at number one, low pro at number two, but if you look through the OT7 comments what? on the Instagram, people are pretty oh. heated about low pro being number two, and they think, you know, Doughboy should be up there in the rankings as well. So chat, comment what you think about the rankings, but it's pretty heated. 100%, and we just have a big cat takeover touchdown to Ramel Stevens, the big receiver out of Texas, who also throws us a nice little back foot. And Mo, what do you think about the quarterback play here? Yeah, well, this is just great play calling. You just put the ball on him, wide open. And Ramel Stevens, a huge target to go after. He actually won MVP of the opening in Oxford not too long ago. So he's a three-star. He's got Colorado offers, Nebraska offers. But again, after a huge weekend and after a good start, I'm expecting him to blow up. And the Chilean boys kind of had a, a nice long drive. Can't take over, waste no time as Joey was breaking down the, uh, the power rankings, which I just want to go back to real quick. Low pro not being number one is insane. 
That makes no sense. I, I don't Go understand. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Madden Williams. Ooh. And we Already. got an Again. offensive show. Already. Madden Williams, he is slowly, quickly becoming my favorite receiver at OT7. I think we could all use a, a guy like that. And Madden Williams, late last night, actually, shot me a DM. No way. All caps, and he said, it's showtime. Oh, wow. So he's already performing. Oh, he's ready. Yeah, he's locked in. He's Mo, locked I in, sense man. a little bit of Trillion Boys love from you today. You're liking Stupin's calls. You like Rakowski. Madden's DMing you. Are you, yeah, a, right? are you a favorite there? Yeah, you ready. know what? <laughs> when we get to the Trillion SFE final, which I'm <laughs> predicting, We'll see what happens. That's your prediction. I think yeah. I think Raw is gonna be up there. Okay. I, I like Raw. I like Raw and uh, SFE. There you go. And an easy touchdown there to Madden Williams. They're gonna hey, have Ryan. a nice little jump into the real hey, cost foam pit. Bungie, did you find yourself in the foam pit at all? I did. I, I found myself in the foam pit a lot actually last <laughs> night. It was fun. It was super fun. You were just hanging out out there. I yes, saw. Sir. And while we have a second, I just want to give a shout out to the chat real quick. We got Hippie House who's watching from California. AJ Huncho watching from NYC. Rodrigo Cruz from Denmark. We got Trizzy from Utah. Uh, Trevor Barnes from Virginia. What a uh, bunchy. What state got the best football players? California, for sure. Oh, for man. sure. And I'm Cali biased. I'm Cali biased. I'll say California. We for sure have the best QBs, for sure. Okay, okay, I can take that. And we got Lorenzo Aguirre at quarterback here. He's been playing well for the for the last couple games. I believe that's number 11, correct? Or Jaden Crowder. Second I love these jerseys, but the numbers are incredibly hard to, uh. to read. <laughs> Mo, who you think? Levin. What state you think got Levin, the best Levin, football Levin, players? Hurry up, Levin. You're from Man, Florida, it's, right? It's not even close, guys. It's South Levin, Florida. Levin. It's, it's oh, Dave. Ah, you didn't even give a state. You gave a Dade and Broward County <laughs> run it's football. Up. It's not even close. <laughs> I, I can't agree with that one. I don't know. I like. I'm Cali biased. Well, like speaking of Cali quarterbacks, we got Jolie down on the field right now with Trillion Boys quarterback Ryan Rakowski. Yeah. Jolie, take it away. Yeah. Of Tom, we are down here with Trillion Boys quarterback Ryan Rakowski. Ryan, you just connected with Madam Williams for a touchdown. What was that? Uh, that was our uh, just go to play. Madden's a really reliable receiver, so I'm always looking for him in the red zone as, uh, along with our other receivers. Got you. And what did you, what what was Josh Stupin's pregame speech to you today? Uh, just come out and play our game, and no one could beat us because we've had the practice and the preparation to win, so that's what we're just trying to do. Right we Look, expect we a lot him. more uh, touchdowns from you today? Hopefully. Uh, yeah, that's what we're doing. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Cooking up any targets, any certain plays you're doing? Oh, look, look who. Hello, how are we doing? I just wanted to come over and say hi to my quarterback. Okay. What did you say about Ryan? He's doing amazing. He's the best He's quarterback in the Send you up here from the previous spot. Yeah. The automatic first down. Jonas Smith, you matter what. There you go. Dynamic trio right there. Automatic first. Can't doubt the boys. I love it. We got the Trillion Boys squad looking hype on the sideline. Joel Lee, thank you. As Cat Takeover is on offense, trying to put together another drive. I believe we actually have Jack Emerson in at quarterback, the third QB of the day. Hey. Bunch, you got a, a favorite quarterback you've ever worked okay. with? Uh, I'll say Jaden O'Neal. Okay, your, your quarterback right now on the DS Blaze. Yep, also uh, Russell Tonga, that's my quarterback going up for losing here. So yeah, two, two really good QBs. And Emerson is looking deep in an easy touch that everyone ran into each other, which was hilarious. Um, as long as no one got hurt. And Mo, we got a we got a great game here. Yeah, Jack getting into an early rhythm here. He finds the coverage bus in the back of the end zone. Uh, and we got we got ourselves a shootout, boys. I love it. There's nothing I love more than points. If everyone could score a million of them, that would be great. And that is to his running back. Uh, Cameron Matthews, class of 2025. And Cat Takeover, doing it a little bit differently than Chilean Boys, kind of finding a lot of different guys, where Chilean Boys really focusing on just their two receivers, which is interesting. Yeah, and it's interesting to see Trillion's strategy this year. They're going with more local guys versus last year they yeah. went with a lot of national recruits. So I think they want to build more the chemistry snap. and brotherhood. Um, and it's working for them. So far, so far. <laughs> Now, Bunchy, are we going to get you on Chillian, boys? Oh, and we got Matt Williams, Williams wide oh, open. Down. This is too easy for Trillian. Is that a bad coverage? What, what happened? There? I have. Wow. How are you feeling, John? Uh, we got to get a stop. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's scoring at ease. we got to pick our defense up, for sure. Thank you. Coach Josh Stupid pumped after dialing up another touchdown, and that's going to be 21-14. Trillion boys are up. We still got 10 minutes left. These teams are trying to hang 50 on the board, I think. This is a stupid coaching clinic today, boys. Is it stupid or Lincoln Riley out there today? <laughs>
stupid drawing up some plays today. He came to play. He was not playing. And that is Madden Williams' 10th touchdown of the year for OT7. Last week, he had 218 yards with eight touchdowns. Snap, already has a pair snap. this morning. So he is taking the lead with how many Five, TDs we have for sure. Four. Now, while we got a little bit of time here, I want to ask the chat if you got any questions Wait. for Bunchy. A fan favorite on our overtime season YouTube page. You've been featured on our on our page for uh, years. It feels like starting sure. when you had a show back in the day. Now you got a show coming up in a little bit. Tell me a little about that one. Uh, it's great. I'm going against different athletes. You know, like uh, first like we had CT down. Fletcher on the show. I'm he teach me how to train. I'm just going up to different athletes, first having 15, them teach me stuff. I was 15. actually working out with the professor, which was amazing. Yep. Yes. Yeah. It was fun. It's fun. It's great. It's gonna be a great show. So Bunchy, in a couple months, you guys will see it on Overtime Seasons YouTube. He is challenging different professionals to their sport and yes, learning sir. a little bit about it. So CT Fletcher, who was like a Navy SEAL workout guy, yes, then sir. he did the professor, who's a street ball and basketball Wait, legend. And uh, Bunchy, is there a hardest one so far? Uh, I would say the hard, the most challenging one, but the funnest one was for sure the professor. Okay. For sure. Because, you know, I'm not a basketball guy, so it was hard getting the dribble down. Yep, 100%, 100%. And I see you rocking the overtime gear over there as well. You look, you look yes, solid with that. Thank you, thank you. It's a nice shirt. Bunchy, can you play basketball? Are you good? I got good defense. I'm a football player, so I'm a good defense. Wait, back in the day, did I see you play Julian Newman? I did. Ooh. I got cooked. I got cooked. <laughs> no I got cooked. Yeah, it was fun, but I got cooked. I got cooked. Uh, Bunchy, I don't know if this is a good or bad question, but Joshua Williams says, ask Bunchy if he remembers Vanilla from Lopra. I do. That's my guy. <laughs> that is my guy. Yes, I do know who Vanilla was. We played in a uh, All-American game a long time ago. Touchdown. There is another touchdown. <laughs> As no one feels like playing any defense today, which I am a massive fan for. That one to Andre Feast. This is a classic Big 12 matchup here. No defense, all scoring. I love it. Andre Beast was just MVP of the Under Armour camp recently. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. So they have a really deep receiving room, actually. Okay. Um, I was talking to Chaz, Tom uh, yeah, Chaz Thompson recently, and uh, he had really great things to say about Andre Beast. I love it. I love it. And, and Mo, do you think Probably. this is bad defense, or has the offense just been outstanding? Man, it's a combination of both, and it's early in the day, yeah, too. So yeah. defenses need to find rhythm. Do you want an interview with number three that just scored? Do you want me to go back but out? These are explosive receiving boys. rooms. You know? sure. And so these, these guys are finding their rhythm. This is shootout, you know? A hundred percent. And Bunchy, we have a question in here for you. They want to know which high school, uh, Cold Boss wants to know, where will you be playing next year? Where can we watch you? Losing our high school in Lindale, California. That's where you can watch me at. I love sure. it. I love it. And, and what uh, college are you going to, Bunchy? Yeah. What college? I don't know. Ooh. Ooh. We had a guy last game, Nate Roberts, who committed an hour uh, this morning at like 9 a.m. Oh, wow. Yeah, he committed to Ohio right. State. He made, he made the, uh, the, the wow. he decommitted from Notre Dame Notre previously, Dame. and now he's going to Ohio State. Wow. 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 So, you know, we actually play Ryan Rakowski. I play Ryan Rakowski this year, so it's going to be third, third that's team. Third, third team. Oh, yeah, you said his team was pretty great last year in yes, high school, right? Yes, they were, they were actually really good. I'd like to see you play both sides, get a pick on Ryan. Yeah, that's yeah. What I'd like to see. They got me playing both sides this year, so maybe see one. We're going to go. I want you to the right, Jonah. I love, love it, I love corner. it. And uh, this, this game, like we said, 21-21. We still got about six and a half minutes left. Coach Josh Stupin is trying to keep the offense going a little bit. Well, this is already the longest drive for Trillian. Yeah. I feel like they're scoring two plays every time. Steven, I need you line up. And so, I heard you know, from Josh Stupin, so. I like it. Let's see what Ryan Rakowski is doing here. I assume he's looking for his guys. Here he goes in a double coverage. But Jonah. Unbelievably hang on, and he did! Jonah Smith, he had hey, double coverage on him, beats both guys to the corner and catches an insane ball from Ryan Rakowski. Great route, unbelievable ball, put it only where he can catch it. Watch this, right over the corner. Does he hold on? Oh, yeah. And he comes down oh, with it. Yeah. What a catch. Amazing. Oh, this duo is crazy. The UCLA commit, bunch of you, uh, I know you're a USC fan, but UCLA's got some Yeah, 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 you know, they, they make some moves, they had a, uh, new coaches and stuff, they, they gonna be a little busy. And now it's UCLA or SC? USC. Okay, oh, okay, there we okay, go. Okay. And now it is 28-21, but cat takeover will call for a money drive. As you can see here, a money drive, everyone gets one per game, each team. If they score here, it'll be 10 points. If the defense gets a stop, though, the defense will Man. get four points. So a little bit of a risky move here, but I think Cat Takeover seeing as how they... Uh, oh, that is an interception! And that is going to be... Did they call him down? That is a pick 10. That will be 10 points for the defense. And Trillion Boys blows this thing open. Wow, and that's the risk involved right there. And now take me through here, Mo. I mean, after we get through the uh, the real cost foam hit, what, uh, what happened here for Jack Emerson? 
Well, you just can't throw it late on these. Like any short game here is spacing and timing. That's what every coach is going to tell you. You take a three-step drop when it should have been a catch and throw, a one-step drop. And these corners are so talented from Trillium. These Southern California guys, they're they're used to speed, and they're going to jump on that every day of the week. And you know what, Bunchy? I think they heard you because that interception was from Matai Tagawi, who's actually committed to USC. Okay. <laughs> so okay. That, so the USC guys are feeling too much love from uh, Jonas Smith on the UCLA boy. side, and yes, they sir. said we, we got to get our get back a little bit. Yes, sir. And that's the risk right there with a with a money drive, right? A hundred percent. I like how overtime did that though. If you, wanna, you, if you wanna do the money drive, you know you gotta take the risk. So. Right, right. Drop, and now hey, Trillium boys, we were talking about our on three power yeah. rings earlier. They dropped a little bit. I think they went from three to six. Um, but I think that they're trying to get their get back a little bit here as well. Shout out to the chat here. We got Rojo who says uh, this is classic Jets defense, which I don't think the Jets are never that good. Uh, <laughs> DeAndre Sishin says this is rigged. Oh, huh. yep. comments, thoughts? <laughs> I, I haven't even seen many penalties call so far, so. <laughs> I, don't think, I think it's a really good <laughs> yeah, play, I don't I know. Think. Hey, Somti Arinzi says, hey, Bungie, no, I know uh, you are not a soccer fan, but who's your favorite uh, soccer uh, player? You got one? Uh, Messi. Yeah. There you go. There you I'm go. a Messi. <laughs> I think I'm a Ronaldo guy. I'm a Messi guy, I don't know. And you know what? They took it back, actually. Trillian boys are not going to have a pick 10. They're yeah, saying yeah. that the guy was down, so that's just going to be six points on the interception instead of 10. And Ryan Rakowski will take it over. And to be honest, it's almost better exactly. in some ways because now he can actually Second get 19 right. points on this yeah. drive. Exactly, so exactly. Down here. And even on this first down, which doesn't look like a lot, but it shows off. a lot of maturity from a young quarterback in Ryan. Doesn't have to force it. You're down here on the 15, 16 range where things get a very concentrated. There's not a lot of open windows. Right. So I'm not mad at taking the sock. I think that's a good play. It's a great play for sure. And just to kind of give you an overview again, so Cat take over. They had the ball. The game was tied at 21. Or, I'm sorry, it was 28-21. Uh, Trillian boys, they throw an interception, so that's six points for the defense. The snap, the and now Trillian boys still has the uh, ball on the uh, change of possession. They're trying Bye. to punch one in again. Away. Oh, they're looking for, is that Madden out there? Wow. Guys, that was special. Free. That was special. This is freaky. Madden Williams with his 11th touchdown at OT7, and the celebrations continue as Trillian boys blows this thing open. What an unreal catch. You just can't play man-to-man -man coverage against Trillian with Madden Williams. It was two-man, it was a two-high shell. Ryan Rakowski, he saw that pre-snap, he gave him a fade and just throw it up. And let him work. Just let him work. Just let him, not, just let him rock out. And I mean, Trillian boys looks amazing here, guys. I, I mean, oh, okay. I don't want to overreact, yep. but they are definitely a team. Cat needs to do something different on defense. Yeah. Right? Get these corners <laughs> back, cover four, cover three, just bail. It's, it's, you got to change something if it's not working. It is not good right now for them at all. Second down, um, second and 20. We got a couple things in the chat. Eli Grice, yo, what's up? Lexi says, stop the game. <laughs> They're winning by so much. Yeah. <laughs> this is amazing. Stop the count. Bunchy, uh, if you had to play on a different team other than EPS players, who you, who you rocking with? Uh, Trillion Boys. Yeah? Really? Boys. What about Doe Boys? Oh, no, yeah, Doe uh, do Boys too. Doe Boys, okay. do Boys, Trillion Boys. Besides Doe Boys, besides Boys EPS plays, Trillion Boys. But I love Doe Boys. You know them, my guys. Do you have a least Clock's favorite team? Clock's running, running, clock running, clock running. <sighs> No really? stoppage, no stoppage. I'm cool with everybody out here. I don't really no have stoppage. a least favorite team. I would say, I, I would say Low Pro. Hey, you know, they're my guys, but they just win. They, they win everything. Yeah, they win. Bunchy so. mentioning Low Pro, the team that went undefeated last week and has now won 26 straight games in OT7. They will not be here this week, thank God, for all the other teams, so someone else can finally win. Yes, sir. But uh, they're unbelievable. Mikey Eugenio, their quarterback, truly unreal. Away. Jack Emerson is trying to lead a little drive here with under 40 seconds left. Looks like Trillian boys will hang on to this one, though. And uh, they got a little break before they play fast Houston a little bit. We got games all day. Just a reminder for everyone, OT7. We got, got Madden. Oh, we, oh, we got our guy. Here. Gonna, here, right here, Let's Madden. Go. Right here, Madden, real quick. We got Madden Williams joining us. No, you're good. Coming off game. a huge performance. How we doing? There you go. Doing? We're sliding down a little bit for you. Oh, Come on down here, Madden. Let me, let me, let me get a little, little chair in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, Madden, man. Come down a little bit more even. You, uh, Trillion boys, you guys just got the win easy. You don't have to shake hands or anything. You're good. Uh, 11 touchdowns now on OT7. That that feels like a record. What are you doing out there? It feels easy. Uh, it's just listening to stupid play calling. 
Uh, we're just putting in the work, you know. You know, as receivers, we always get open. It's just for the quarterback to find us, and Ryan does a great job of doing that. And we can expect the championship this week? Definitely, most definitely. I love it. Madden Williams, love appreciate yes, you, man. That is the game. Trillion boys yes, win. Sir. Thank you. We got another game coming out in just a second from Overtime Tom, Mo so Hassan, and a bunch of guys. Short little break, and then we will be right back with some more action, so don't go anywhere. We'll see you in a second. What is up? Welcome back. We just saw an amazing game between the Trillium Boys and Cat Takeover. Sniper Jones joins me. What did we think of that game? That was probably my favorite game of the entire weekend, okay? Because first off, we are seeing the best receiver core in OT7 history. I'm history. calling it right now. Okay. Between Jonah and Madden, I have not seen a better receiver duo. The numbers back it up from last week. I mean, these guys are balling out of their minds. And not to mention, yeah, I, I told you, I think the Trillion Boys is going to take it all, and it's going to be a lot of a lot of weight on them two receivers. I mean, they look good today. What do you think of Madden Williams? Madden Williams, I'm going to call it right now. He's the best receiver here. I haven't seen a few teams. We've got some teams for the first time here. But I think I'm confident in saying he's the best receiver here. Everything from route running, yards after the catch, his hands are remarkable. And if I was to even think about the second best receiver, it's his teammate. It's Jonah. So it's like, bro, this is the best roster here. And that's why I think they're going to win it all. What can you say about Ryan, though? Because Ryan was playing real good in this game. Now, Ryan Rakowski, we give a lot of re respect to the to the quarterbacks, right? None of these balls are catchable if you don't put it on the money, on the time, right? And Ryan Wachowski came in as one of the best quarterbacks here. We know um, made it to the state championship, one of the best receivers here. Got a cannon for arm, but more importantly, he's super accurate. If you've seen some of those balls, you put it to, or right only there. the receiver can get it. What do we think about Josh? I didn't see him talking that much this game. Yeah, hey, Josh Stupin, I think he just let the players talk. You know, like when Madden and Jonah going crazy like that, and you get, they got a pick on a money drive. Like they were clicking on all cylinders. Sometimes it's better if you just let the game talk, Jolie. You can just sit back yeah. and chill. Let the sit game back, talk. relax, and watch the game. Yeah. Well, we have a good game coming up. We have Boom against Huncho Elite. And we're going to take a look at the schedule as well. Yeah. yeah. From primetime games? Absolutely, and this Huncho game gonna be good. We have Trillion Boys versus Midwest Boom later on today, so make sure you stick around for that game and a good game coming up next. What do you think about the next game? I wanna see Huncho Elite kinda get in the groove because this team is what I would call a dark horse, to say the least. A lot of people here don't have too much faith in Huncho, but you know what? I believe they can turn some heads. It's all about confidence, Jolie. If you can win some games, get the confidence flowing, anything can happen here and I'm just excited to see if they can take the league by storm and turn some heads. Do you think there's any player that we should keep an eye on specifically from either of the teams? I'm going to keep it a bean. No. But that's okay. not the point. That's not the, point. <laughs> the, 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 the point is, the point is, the point is, Hancho, you're playing with House's money. This is your time to make a stand right here, right now. You know what? Hancho winning this game. I'm calling it right now. Okay. Hancho gets the dub. Okay. In chat, comment who you think is going to win the next game. Thank you, Sniper Jones. Back to you guys. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Clean catch. First down. Yeah, I don't know about that one. It's following me on IG, so clean catch. Gotta remember to turn your mic off. That's a rookie mistake. Snickers, official chocolate of OC7. Overtime Tom here for a break in the action. A turnover can change the momentum of an entire game. If there's one weak link, the whole team suffers. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can damage your lungs and the team. All right, let's go back to OT7. Another one, we got another game at OT7 Dallas week two. 
It is Midwest Boom versus Huncho Elite. We got a lot of wind and we got things breaking over here as we talk, but it's an exciting one as these two teams are battling, hoping to win OT7 Dallas and punch their way to the OT7 Championship in June. I am your host, Overtime Tom. I am joined again by Mo Hassan and Bunchy Young. Mo, how are we doing, man? What's up, boys? We got another great matchup, quarterback battle. It's gonna be a chess matchup here with the way they scheme it up, so I can't wait. I love it, and Bunchy, man, how are you? I'm doing good, you know, just chilling, you know? <laughs> Games. Bunchy's, Bunchy's got the best vibes in the world. Speaking of good vibes, we got Boom down here. Bunchy, what do you think about him? I love Boom. I love their energy they come out with. I love, you know, their play. I, I think they're going to be really good today. 100%. And uh, they uh, they won a game earlier today, which we love to see. And uh, Mo, how, what do you think about uh, Huncho? I can't wait to watch quarterback Darnell Kelly. He's a 2026 guy. Coach Parlay talked to him earlier that he called him a created player. He has so much composure, ice in his veins, and doesn't get too high or too low. Yeah, Huncho Elite played last year, uh, and they were terrible. They were 0-4. They that's did. That. They were not successful. But this is actually Quavo's team, so we see we can see if Quavo uh, can throw it around a little bit. Uh, Bungie, what do you think about Quavo? <laughs> uh, I love Quavo. I, actually, I love the Migos. At one point in time, that was my favorite rapper. So, you know. Oh, there you go. Yeah. So, hey, maybe we can uh, see what's going on here as Darnell Kelly and Huncho Elite starts it off here. And uh, we just saw a great game between Trillion, with Trillion Boys uh, and Cat Takeover. I want to see what goes down here today. Boom has a lot of energy. I'm going to talk about them a lot. They got a head, their coach, Coach JR, sleeveless. Jacked up, rocking it the whole time. You're gonna see him get real active. Huncho on the other side, a little bit more chill. We actually got a guy on the sideline in a Spider-Man costume. If we want to get a camera on that bunch, of you ever rock a Spider-Man playing football? I have never rocked a Spider-Man playing football, but something I gotta try one day. Sure. <laughs> I think I, I think you should get it out for sure. But hey, just for anyone that's tuning in for the first time, this is OT7. We got some of the best players in the world playing here, future NFL stars. It's a 50-yard field. There's two yard ten. There's two ten yard end zones. A first down. They're gonna they're gonna have four downs to get to the opposite twenty. Okay, and that's gonna be one first down. You can only get one, first and then they gotta score from there. On fourth down, you can decide to either go for it. You don't get it. The other team takes over from that spot, or you can flip the field, send the team to the opposite ten, kind of like a punt. Um, and you know what? It's just a lot of activity out here. A lot of great guys. A lot of activity, and I'm excited to see Huncho's receiving Dang. core. I think they're Dang. one of the most Come underrated on, groups to today. Dang. Now, four star Xavier Tiller, everyone knows about, right but it's guys like Jarek Kemp, number 11, who Parlay said is the most complete seven on seven player he's ever seen. Also guys like James Johnson, who allegedly is the best athlete in the state of Georgia. Damn. Oh, wow. That is a very athletic state. Oh, wow. okay. <laughs> uh, I, hey, look, I'm glad that pump for him and everything. We already got people in the chat. We're asking for a prediction. Who wins, Huncho or Boom? So I'm gonna ask you guys as well, Mo, who you got? I think Boom takes it, man. I do. I think they, they already played earlier. They looked good defensively. They bring a lot of different matchups. Coach said they have 30 different looks Ooh. on defense that they can show. So oh, they're wow. going to be bringing a lot of pressure, okay. different looks. So I think that's going to be the difference maker. Bungie, who you rocking with? I like Boom. I love the energy. Um, I think they're going to pull it out. I think they're going to get the W. Yeah, back one, we back got one. a sack here. Weirdly yep. enough, everyone in the chat seems to be going for a Huncho. We got Alex Xavier Gonzalez saying, I got Huncho. Okay. We got Cosmo X saying a Huncho upset. Carter says Huncho. Epic says I got Huncho. I mean, there's a lot of Huncho yeah. love out here, and uh, I don't I don't fully yeah. get it. But I, I, we all love an underdog, right? Yeah, this Georgia love out here. And if they win, it's going to be because of quarterback Darnell Kelly. This dude threw for 3,500 yards as a sophomore in the state of Georgia. That's pretty good. And uh, and he's and he's getting more attention Five. with recruiting as well. Tank, tank. Away. Darnell looks to find his man in the end zone, but there's nothing there. And that will bring up fourth down. Andre Lee has to punch it in, or else it will be a turnover here. And uh, is the center in a an outfit out there? What do we got out there? You see, an, the, is that a muscle suit? An all-black muscle suit for the center? Looks like a jumpsuit. Yeah, all black. That is a really great, really great. <laughs> oh, I, I love the jumpsuit. Oh, no, actually, sorry, he's not the center. He's actually playing. He's actually okay. playing. I love the jumpsuit. I think the jumpsuit is great. Um, Chat, let us know what you think about this jumpsuit. Yeah. We got Larry Hudson out there in the slot in the <laughs> zip it up or anything. Uh, oh, oh, just throw it up. I, oh, I was wow. Oh, <laughs> that is a touchdown for a Huncho. 
Bunchy, what do you do if you catch a ball? What kind of trash talk are you telling the DB? Is it get in the weight room, you're too small? What, what are we saying small, right there? You're too small, small. Yeah. I'm sorry, Gibby. You know, I'm, I'm, on a, I'm not the biggest guy, so if I if I ever like go up top of someone, I feel like Yeah, yeah. but you got the vertical, though, so yes, you can sir. jump yes, over sir. there. Yes, sir. There you go. I actually love that jump shoot. And that is a great First ball down. to four-star 2026 receiver, Xavier Taylor, who has offers from Bama, Florida, hey, Florida State, day. Georgia. The six-foot-four uh, tight end is unbelievable. Uh, and with that, I'm going to introduce the fourth member of our broadcast, Jolie, who is down on the field. Jolie, how are we feeling? What is up, Tom? Doing good. This is a great game. Just saw an amazing game, so we're doing good. What do you think about these costumes down here? We got a Spider-Man costume. We got a guy in a muscle jacket. What, uh, what do we think about that? I'm kind of digging the Spider-Man costume. I'm excited to see what he can do, but I was seeing him take flicks over here, and he was getting into it. He, he was rocking that Spider-Man costume. And, and do you have a favorite here between uh, Boom and I mean uh, Boom and uh, Huncho Ali? Who are we rooting for? I think I'm going to have to go with Boom. I like JR. I like the head coach, you know, but but Hunch was great, Hunch was great, I love Quavo, but I'm gonna have to go with Boom. <laughs> we, love, we love Quavo as well. Now, we're gonna check out the on three power rankings here, Jolie, uh, which is the top 10 teams in OT7 of all the teams that will be competing, and obviously you see Midwest Boom here at number eight. What do you think about, this? What do you think about the rankings? I mean, we see SFE at the top. We have Low Pro at two, DEF CON Texas down there, and there's a lot of controversy in the comments about how Low Pro should be ranked a little bit higher sure. maybe than SFE. Um, want, maybe want to throw Doughboys in there, but I think, it, I think it's pretty solid. And the chat can comment what they think. Yeah, I'm curious. I'm curious what the chat thinks for sure. Midwest Boom at number eight right now. I'm sure they would like to be up a little bit. Now you're seeing the whole offensive side for Boom in caution second and jackets. Five, second and five, second and five. We are doing everything today. I like it. That's the Midwest vibes, man. They're just gritty. Is that what you guys? Called? Lunch yeah. pail, you know. Is, it, is that what I would call it? A co what would you call it? It's, it's a costume. Co yeah, yeah, I like yeah. a construction it's a yeah, yeah, construction. construction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're really embracing the gritty Midwest vibe right here. <laughs> I do like that they all did it, you know? Very Wait. unified. Great. Oh! oh Really great drive, though, by Jack Elliott, the quarterback. He's already got 14 offers. He's a state champ, so you know he's a winner. He's got Ohio, Ball State, Princeton, Yale. We'll probably get a bunch more uh, upcoming with the senior year. But this entire drive, nothing crazy, just playing within the offense, nickel and diamond. And, uh, and that works in 7 on. You don't have to take shots if it's not there. Right, and Midwest Boom alumni is actually J.J. McCarthy, who's in the NFL draft this year. So they've had some great quarterbacks in the past. And we'll see if Jack Boy, Elliott can there you easy. Go. Now. These jackets are making it impossible to see their numbers. But that was a great catch and a great touchdown for Boone. <laughs> and a great try. It was, it was. Anytime you get a guy that wide open within the five yard line, it was just greatly schemed up, right? And so that's Midwest Boom's thing. They're just well coached. A great and easy drive there. I believe now that I can see it, it is number two, Ian Willis, who caught that one. A three star wide receiver. A great job out there. And Bungie, I'm surprised you don't want to play for Boom. Bungie on Boom? That, that, that would feels be great. Right. They actually followed me on Instagram uh, like last OT7, so you know, maybe, Ooh, okay. maybe, maybe see Bungie are, are, in the green and purple. Are 7 on 7 up, teams recruiting you? How does that work? They just slide in your DMs? Yeah, snap, uh, they, just, they just text me. already followed me on Instagram, you know. But I, 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 I probably had a chance to play with a lot, but you know, I'm really picky. And everyone in the chat, I need to know, while we wait here, is a good throw there to number 14, Xavier Tiller again, who had an early touchdown. Everyone in the chat, what did you eat so far today? Second I need to know what was breakfast, eight. what are we doing for lunch? Give me a little meal option as I am absolutely starving. What have you eaten today, Tom? Uh, we had some nice, a nice little breakfast spread out in the uh, production trucks. Um, I, I've had a lot of Gatorade and a lot of Snickers as well, and I'm looking forward to eating Subway a little bit later today. Ooh, later today too. Okay, okay. okay. Get, and what's get, the Subway order? No. Okay, so I do no, have no a doubt. weird Subway order, if I'm being honest. Yeah, yeah I'm a little bit strange. Um, I go all veggies. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm a veggie That's delight cool. guy. My mom, I think she was on, like, when I was younger, she, she was having it, I took a bite, I fell in love, and I've been getting it every all the time ever since. And that's a tough drop there for Xavier Tiller. It seems like unless it's uh, going eight, to the end zone, eight. he maybe doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, he's been playing well, <laughs> and he's got Bama, Florida, Florida State, Georgia. He's got everyone. He's number four tight end with 24 offers. That's an uncharacteristic drop. He'll, he'll take a playoff and get back out there. 100%. Bunchy, how do you come back from a drop? You drop a pass, you just, like move on to the next one, are you a little more yeah, locked in? What happens? I'm a, I'm a short term every type of guy. You know, I just act like it never even happened to get back on the field. You know? OK, OK. You ever yeah. drop a few in a row? I have, actually. <laughs> I, I have, I have. It happens to everyone. Yeah, it does. Oh. 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 Looks like the ball just slipped out of his hands right there. 
Boom brought the pressure a little bit here. But Darnell Kelly, the quarterback, Mo, we talked about him a little bit earlier. So far, so good. What do you, what do you, what do you like from this game? He looks really good, man. He's, uh, you know, we saw that up ball with Xavier Tiller. So when you have weapons, there's something to yeah, knowing yeah. your personnel. It's called KYP, right? If you have a short receiver, you don't want to throw an up ball. If you have a four-star tight end, then, then you know your matchup, right? And he's got a bunch of other guys that he's been throwing to. Jared Kemp, we talked about, James Johnson, these guys. So he knows he's got weapons, and he doesn't have to do too much. So his nickname is the Created Player. I believe it's self-proclaimed. What do we think about that nickname, Bungie? I like it. <laughs> created Player, I like it, you know? And whatever function. Oh. First goal, first goal. But I, I thought also that's really underrated, like what you said, you know your players, because, you know, if you know their strengths, you know their weaknesses, I feel like that's a key to success for the team, for sure. 100%. Samta Rinzi says, for breakfast, I had a PB and J, which we love. Chance Valentine, I had some eggs and bacon and muffins, and I had Subway with some salad. Ooh, okay. Breakfast of champions. Yeah, got, breakfast. got after it. Decided to get winner. after it. Lexi Lethui says, Mama. Okay. okay. Uh, Christopher Aaron Martinez <laughs> says he uh, he had pancakes with fruit. So uh, overall, I feel like this the chat is eating well. That's a great ball. Throwing on the run, a little bit behind him. Good ball placement, only place he could put it really. And I want to see him move more a little bit. Like, he throws a really good ball on the run, especially once you get down here in this low red zone, makes the read easier. We saw in the game before, Trillian, and they had Ryan Rokowski moving a lot. Yeah, and so these rub routes, these, these corners, these, uh, these flats are really successful down here in the low red. For sure. And boom on defense, that's kind of what they're known for. Head coach JR has always been known to kind of shut people down. As a, he's a college defensive coach, and then he also coaches here as well. Bring your pressure. Bring pressure. Okay. pressure. Okay. Touchdown. Wow. Wow. Wait, he's going, he's going. Doing his best Money Manziel impression, running around. And he finds three-star wide receiver Garrett Kemp, who has offers from LSU, Georgia, Indiana, and Kentucky. Uh, he'll be visiting a few schools this June as well. And you know, I was going to ask you about bringing the pressure because Boom is known to rush a little bit more than probably every other team, but but it kind of leads to breakdowns like that. Yeah, look, I think he's got to disguise it a little better. I think he saw it coming from his front side. I think if you bring a nickel head, if you bring a boundary corner or something like that, it makes it a little tougher for the quarterback. So it's just too simple for Darnell Kelly, uh, who, like we said, is the created player. Honestly, I don't really like the rush, you know, because I feel like quarterbacks can get comfortable, especially Russian quarterbacks can get comfortable, you know, in that Let's go. Wake it up. It was solid for sure. We still have Jack Elliott at quarterback. We have not seen Jonas Williams in this game, who we saw a little bit earlier today, the two-headed monster at QB. But, you know, Midwest move as long as you're rocking, we're all good. And they are down 14-7 right now. About nine minutes left to play. Bunchy, who's your favorite NFL player? And also for the chat, who's your, who's your favorite guy in the NFL right now? Uh, my favorite guy in the NFL is Tyreek Hill. You know, that's my guy. That's right. my guy since I was a kid. I, I always loved Tyreek Hill. So. And, and now we, I talked to you a little bit about it yesterday, but you actually did the coin toss at a Super Bowl. I did. And which two teams were out there when uh, when you did that? The, 40, uh, the 49ers and the Chiefs. OK, but you didn't get to meet Tyreek. I did not get to meet Tyreek. I was trying to wonder his stance, though. I was, I was trying to wonder his stance. There you go. Sure. There you go. You like how fast he is? Quick, yeah, got yeah, good personality. Like, yeah, for sure, for sure. I get a lot of comparisons to him too. So yeah. And Mo, same question for you, man. Did you have a quarterback who you looked up to uh, look, growing up? You know, Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers. Okay. Okay. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Those are solid two guys. And I actually grew up a really big Florida Gators fan. Okay. So a lot of my family went to Florida, and that's the you know, the Tebow guy. Years. And we had this debate yesterday. Are they the greatest college football team of all time, the yeah, 2008 not. Florida Gators? <laughs> it was a very animated conversation. But, you know, the LSU Tigers are up there um, from, what was it, 2019? Yep. I like that uh, We got the early 2000s University of Miami Hurricanes. Yep. But I think Florida deserves to be in the top three. And we got some good favorite players here. DJ Caleb says Chris Alave, Tristan, he says Zay Flowers, Sierra Brittle, Travis Kelsey. Good catch. We got a great ball there from Jack Elliott. And an even better catch. That looks like Adrian Jones down there held, it on, held on to it. You see it here. And a lot of people claim they run a pro style offense, but Midwest Boom really does, right? And so. We see this First defense playing a lot of off coverage, kind of like cover four, and they're not afraid to just nickel and dime you down the field. Hey, we'll and that's why sometimes Super Logan, Super one Logan. receiver's going to ball hey, one Super game, Logan, and they're not going to force speed a lot, of, a lot of guys so like other teams call are. That. Prime example, stream boys. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Away. Great ball. Back-to-back ball. Back to back balls ball. to Adrian Jones, and that is going to be a touchdown for Midwest Boom. Who ties it up 14 all with seven minutes to go. A great ball from Jack Allen. Really good ball, puts it up, 
They teach you on these back end line digs, throw it two yards above his head. If you watch this replay, that's exactly where it lands. That's exactly where he intended the ball to go. Elite accuracy right there. And Boom has looked super solid. They won their game earlier today, 28 to 24, versus uh, phase one, and they're trying to go 2-0 on the day. We got things tied up here as uh, Huncho right, right Elite takes back over on right offense, side. and Huncho's been looking good. Like, they're, they're smooth. They have, they have. I, I like them today. It seems like a really evenly matched uh, game right here, it seems like, right? Now, Bungie, I got to ask you, man. You mentioned that USC might be your favorite school, right? But with Dion in Colorado, is, are they up there? Are you a fan? Or you nah, I, 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 I'm a very big fan. I am a super big fan. No, Dion is my guy. I, I did a Super Bowl commercial with him, actually. So yeah, Really? I yes, I did. I did. I got to meet him. You know, Shador. Uh, Shador's a uh, great quarterback. Great quarterback. I, I love Colorado. So, yeah. Wait, wait. You got to go back to the commercial, though. You got yeah. to, how you hung out with Dion. What did you guys did, do? Was I he did. cool? Was it, he, was, he, was, he was a great guy. We um, So when the SoFi was just opening, we had this little, uh, like, this little st scene where I walked through and I got to meet all the Hall of Famers. You know, I got to meet them. It was great. You got to meet all the Hall of Famers? I did. Every every person that was in the Super Bowl besides yeah. Jalen Ramsey and Duran James, which I was kind of hot that I didn't get to meet them. Man. So all the Hall of Famers. Anthony Munoz, all of them. Uh, Deion Sanders. Brett Barr, hey, all wow. Do you have a favorite? Or a guy that was say, maybe like the I coolest? Say, I say Larry Fitzgerald is the coolest guy that like that I've met like out there. Larry Fitzgerald. Really? Julian Edelman was actually really cool. He threw he threw, he threw, he threw around the ball. Julian Edelman was great. So yeah. Wow, that is awesome. That is like <laughs> I'm like starstruck and I wasn't even there. Um, that is cool. Do you have, do you have like a, a famous person you'd love to meet? Rapper, artist, Duke Dennis. You want to meet Duke Dennis? Yeah, Duke, yeah, Duke, yeah, Duke Dennis, he broadcasts our OTE yeah, basketball know, game, yeah, and he's got to come to Atlanta. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. That's, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a guy that I would love. Oh, that is unbelievable. We can get you to meet Duke 100%. That would be awesome. I can see you with Duke what do you guys think about these two teams? Like, <laughs> make, make it like, a football here. <laughs> no, no, no. But in tomorrow's tournament, do you think any of these teams could make a run? Because so far, Darnell Kelly, what he's shown is composure. Yeah. Right? And again, threw for 3,500 yards as a sophomore, seven rushing touchdowns. So you can't rush him. That takes a big element of the game away. I'm really impressed so far. And they just get the first down on fourth and short. Darnell has looked great. I'm still not a Huncho believer until they can pull off a run off a couple of wins for I definitely think Boone can compete if they, if they can get their offense just, you know, getting a little bit more consistent. For sure. Yeah. But I think this week, a lot of teams can compete, right? SFB is a team that everyone talks about. Trillion Boys, obviously. Raw, obviously. And then if you throw in some of these other teams into the mix, with low pro not here, it feels like it's anyone's game. It's yeah, anyone's yeah. game. And there's always an underrated team that makes a run. But right? sure. every tournament, a team gets hot, gains some momentum, and you never know. And, and Jolie is down on the field right now with Midwest Boom quarterback Jack Elliott. Jolie, what do we got? We are down here, yes. We're with Jack. Jack, how are you feeling out here today? Feeling great. You know, it's a great environment, great atmosphere, and we're we're doing great right now. All your team. all your teammates had construction vests on. What was what was going on there? <laughs> you know, they had to uh, put their uh, work clothes on. We're going to work out here. <laughs> did you not? Did you not want to wear one? Nah, I'm I'm not into that. I'm out here to ball, so you know I'll let them have their fun. But we just got to go to work. And now you're tied up right now. What what do you have to do to complete the game? Uh, our defense just got to step up and play off each other. Your offense is doing their job, so defense gets to stop. Offense out there, and we'll make it count. There you go. Thank you so much, Jack. Back to you, Tom. Now, Jack Elliott seems very chill. Is that yeah. like a quarterback's vibe, though? Do you have to never get too high? Do you spend around quarterbacks to get more excited than others? You know what? I think there's a happy medium, right? Because I, I don't mind the getting, you know, the rah-rah, getting in your teammate's sure. face after a big play, hypes everyone up. But also, hey, when it's time for that game-winning drive, you want those ice in your veins. You want to be cool, calm, collected. I have a question. Yep. Do you prefer uh, more... Like a Jack Stupid type of coach, all in your face, rah rah. Are you for like a cool, calm, collected, you know? Yeah, with the coach, I, I don't want someone in my face. I, I'd, I'd rather the players lead that. Okay, okay. And that's why you don't that's rush down. Darnell Kelly. Midwest Boom brings the pressure on the rush, and Darnell Kelly just slips out the Money. back and runs it in, and that is a 21 14 lead. For Honcho Elite, Darnell Kelly, man, you love him. I'm telling you, man, awesome. th this rush is not working for Boom. They got it. They got to switch it up, and they've done it almost every other play. You'd think that uh, they're gonna make some adjustments here, especially against a mobile quarterback like Darnell. Yeah, I, don't, I don't like the, like I said, I don't like the rush against a mobile quarterback where he can use his legs. Yeah. You know, can't do that. And Midwest Boom is actually gonna switch quarterbacks here and bring in Jonas Williams, and they are also gonna call their money drive. 
A reminder for everyone at home, if they're able to score here, it will be worth 10 points for the offense. But if the defense gets a stop, they get points as well. They can get four points on a stop, six points on an interception. Or if they're able to pick, get a little pick 10, so an interception return to the end zone, they'll actually get 10 points. So Midwest Boom going for it all here. And as you, as you see, we got Jonas Williams in at quarterback, a four-star recruit, 31 touchdowns in the fall. And, uh, and Mo, he, he might be QB2 on this team, but he's unbelievable. Yeah, he's a really Boy. highly recruited guy. You know, Ooh. he's got Arkansas, Missouri, Michigan, Ohio State offers. He's got a big frame. He's 6'3", 185. Um, so he might be QB2, but who knows, man? Like, he gets a little momentum here. We'll see what happens heading into the championship Sunday. Excited to see what he does here. And Bunch, you like this catch from Ian Willis? I do, I do. He, he's, he's a pretty underrated receiver, in my opinion. You know, he got he got offers to know Marshall, Miami, Ohio, Bowling Green. So I think really good to there you go, and a nice little one-handed grab. And Jonas Williams is right to work. We got under, we're at the one minute warning here. So we have 58 seconds left. And Boom needs a score. If they score here, like I said, they will get 10 points and they will take the lead on Huncho Elite. And they're driving, they're driving quickly. This yeah, and it's easy, not uh, an easy yeah. thing from one a quarterback minute, standpoint to just throw him in cold, right? Yeah. He doesn't have the rhythm of the game. He doesn't, he hasn't seen this defense yet. Um, and so again, it just highlights how impressive it is just to drive down so quickly. I can't win. Oh, yeah. I think Huncho came a little early there, it felt like. But, yeah. but the clock will continue to run on the sack. Okay. And boom, they need to move a little bit. We need a little bit of urgency here as the clock continues to run. The clock will only stop under a minute if, the, if they get out of bounds or an incomplete pass. And Jonas Williams needs to punch one in here in the next 30 seconds or so, or we're going to get an L for Midwest Boom. Away! Oh, he grabbed his neck! Clock should stop he right here. There you go. There you go. The clock does yeah, stop a bungee. Did we see P.I. here? That was definitely a passing appearance. He grabbed his whole entire neck, which stopped him from catching the football. So I think oh, man. Wow. Yes. You watch it here on the replay. Ian Wills gets totally grabbed from the neck. And these refs, you're fired. <laughs> <laughs> this is as tough as it gets right here. Fourth down from the 12 to win the game. Oh, what does down? Jonas Williams do? I got Ian Williams. I'm going to Ian Williams right now. Right now. Oh, he had a wide open in the middle. Touchdown. Wow. Talon Taylor, the four-star receiver, gets the touchdown, and Midwest Boom takes the lead with 22 seconds left, and we have an unbelievable touchdown celebration here. <laughs> and the decision to put in Jonas Williams on this last drive pays off. Can somebody say clutch to win the game? On this is what you for. On Spider-Man. Oh, oh, Spider he got to take off that suit. He doesn't deserve it no more. Take it off. <laughs> oh, take it off. No. Take it off. Take it off. Take it off. Come on, Spider-Man. But they still left a lot of time here. 22 seconds is 22 enough. Seconds you think you're going to pull it off? Got to get positive. I don't know, man. I don't oh, know. I oh, think no, you, you get three plays. You got to get a chunk. You got to get out of bounds. Yep. And you have to have a lot of urgency getting to the line of scrimmage because that clock will not stop unless you get out of bounds or it's an incompletion. Darnell Kelly does have a couple big receivers, so I do think they'll be he'll be looking for Xavier Tiller here to get downfield, get out of bounds, maybe get another play in after that. I feel like Boom should just not rush. They should just drop everybody back. I agree with you, Bunchy. Not I do rushed. not think bringing it. And they get the ball out, but that is going to be a drop. The clock will stop. We got so 17 seconds left as Huncho Elite is dying for their first win at OT7. Yeah, yeah, I'm not bad at an incompletion. Obviously, you have an open guy, so you want to hit him, and you want him to get out of bounds, gain like 15 here, and then take a shot at the end zone. Um, yep. The only way you're OK as a coach with leaving the ball inbounds if it's a chunk play. And with passing plays, chunk is defined as 15 yards or more. OK. So then you can get a quick two, get to the line of scrimmage, but you don't have more than two or three plays here. Dark Visor says, snap. man, he got to take snap. that Spidey suit off. And I could not agree more. <laughs> Five. Sorry, Spidey. I was never a big Spider-Man guy. Here goes Darnell yeah. Kelly. He's looking deep, of course. Uh -oh, uh -oh. And that is a chunk play, That's like you chunk. said. Can they get down and get one more playoff? Huncho has to hustle. Five seconds left. Throw it up to Xavier at the top. They get it off. Throw it up, throw it up, throw it up. Oh! oh and that is going to be an interception. They're running it back. This is a pick 10. And the score is going <laughs> Jameer Washington, I believe, on Midwest Boom, picks it off, goes the other way. And they are celebrating their win in the end zone. And now they're going to the other end zone to the phone, to the phone pit, the real cost phone pit. 
34-21. Darnell watches these re this replay. He's going to kick himself for not targeting Xavier Tiller. At the top of the screen, he's got the big body. He's got the four-star tight end. Got to throw it up. Do what's been working. I don't know why he changed it. Um, it, was, it was a great job getting the big chunk play, like you mentioned, and getting yeah. the playoff. Midwest Boom takes it, though. They are now 2-0. They were wearing the caution vest. They were doing a lot of different things, and they get the win. And we got another game coming up in just a second. Bunchy Young, thank you for joining us. Yes, Mo Hassan as well, and I'm your host, Overtime Tom. We will be back with another game in just a minute. What is up? We are back. Me and Sniper Jones. Sniper, that game, crazy. What are we feeling? The game was insane. Came down to the wire. We almost seen a last-minute touchdown win, but unfortunately, Hancho wasn't able to do it. And Midwest Boom, man. A lot of people expect the Midwest Boom to do really well, and I'm not surprised. I mean, we jumped out of our seats for the interception, ran back for a we touchdown. <laughs> the celebration was cute. What is? What did we see from Midwest Boom in that game that made them win? Well, I think... We've seen a lot from them, but I think what's the most craziest call is, imagine you got a quarterback that's been sitting on the sideline the entire game, and they call in Jonas, who hasn't played the entire game, for a money drive for the lead, which is something I've never seen before, and he actually gets it. He actually scores, gets the money drive, and puts them up. I, I don't think I've ever seen that. If he misses that, we're complaining that that's a terrible call by the coach, but he was able to capitalize. I was think it was luck or is he just good? That kid is good. Okay, Jonas Williams is good. He, he's good. And, and I think that drive pretty much showed it. I'm, I'm, now I'm looking forward to seeing him more throughout the weekend. Now, the caution vest, that was, that was, was that smart? Do we like that move? I love the caution vest. Here, here at OT7, you never know what you're going to see. We've seen a guy with a full Spider Man outfit out there. I was going to say the other right? side. We've seen guys with Spider Man costumes. The work vest is only the beginning. Trust me, Jolie, it gets even crazier than this. Trust me. Okay, well, speaking of crazy, let's look at the up and coming schedule that you guys can stay tuned to check out. Yes, we have Trillion Boys versus Midwest Boom, a big one later today, so make sure you stick around. Trillion Boys have been showing out, so in Midwest Boom just won. So, what do we think about that? That's a matchup that I want to see because I think Trillion is going to win it all, but Midwest Boom, a lot of people might say it's one of the best coached teams here. And our own Mo said they have what you will call a NFL pro offense. So, I'm excited to see what they're going to do. That's a big matchup. You guys don't want to miss that. You definitely don't want to miss it. So make sure you guys stick around. Check out the games later. Peace. I didn't even mean to throw it. Got to keep your challenge flag somewhere safe, coach. That's a rookie mistake. Snickers, official chocolate of OT7. Overtime Tom here for a break in the action. A turnover can change the momentum of an entire game. If there's one weak link, the whole team suffers. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can damage your lungs and the team. All right, let's go back to OT7. Welcome back to OT7 Season 3, live from Dallas, Texas. Week 2 pool play marches on as a as we have a great matchup between Trillion Boys and Bass Houston. Here and we have the very best high school football prospects in the nation descending on the Lone Star State, not only looking to put their name on the map, but rep their team and compete for an OT7 championship. I'm Alex Day, joined alongside Kieran Hickey Sample. And Kieran, welcome to week two of OT7 season three. It's going to be an amazing time out here. I'm already having a great time. We're playing football in the month of April. It doesn't get any better than this, Alexander Day. It does not get any better than this. Trillion boys, Fast Houston, two teams that have looked really good so far in pool play. What are you looking forward to most in this game? This game, to be honest with you, I'm looking forward to see what Stupin can do. Because right now, he's coach of the year right now. He's he's out here scheming it up currently. Trilly is on fire. Jonah Smith, Madden Williams, they have been incredible. And it is all led by Ryan Rakowski. The mm. freshman quarterback is out here straight up balling. You see his numbers last week. He's 53-81, 579 yards and 13 touchdowns. He is an absolute stud. And he is throwing darts, absolute darts out here. 
it, it just doesn't get any better than that. Carson Boyd on the flip side, he had a little bit of a rough start in the first couple of games. Now it's time to see what he can do. They desperately need a win right here. They're 0-2 today. Can Fast Houston get it done? Carson Boyd is going to be the reason why. I'm, I, I want to see what he can do. Fast Houston has lost some close games early, but they are ready to go here on offense. You hear the horn. Karen's ready. I'm ready. Mm. Let's get it on. Um. Got to see my Texas team's doing a little bit better. I've been getting text messages all day, though, calling Fast Houston, Fast America. Taking a shot deep early. <laughs> and that is a little bit overthrown. Yeah, those are vicious texts to be getting yeah, on no, Saturday fa morning. Fast America is crazy. See, he's just saying they, they recruit nationally, all these other stuff. There's not too many kids from Houston on the team. I'm trying to see, though. Kobe Howard having himself a bit of a day. You know what I mean? He, he's, he's making some good catches. Had a couple of tough drops earlier on, but... I want to see him get back on track here. Keep your eye on number six. That's Kobe Howard, the four-star wide receiver. We'll get to him a little bit more. But Carson Boyd is really the man for Fast Houston so far today. Three-star QB, Illinois commit, St. Louis, Missouri. 30 touchdowns last season and led his high school to a state title. So number four is trying to get his Fast Houston team in the win column here in pool play. This is their final game of pool play here in week two. That's yeah. completion over the middle. Just a reminder, 50 yard field, you start at the 10 yard line, need to go 40 yards, have to get to the other team's 20 for a first down. Kieran, we have a third and 12 here. We do early on some adversity for these guys, man. Mm. You need to be able to pick up some yards here. I'm just trying to get as, as many yards as I possibly can <laughs> to pick up this first down. Easier on a fourth down. That's what they're trying oh. to do in the middle. Oh my goodness, Matai Tagwat. You saw his pick in the last game that Trillian played. He is on fire right now. He almost had this one too. The USC commit jumped it, <laughs> and I got to say, Carson Boyd telegraphed that one. It was tough. It was a bit of a telegraph pass over the middle. You just got to find it a little bit quicker. You had you had Winston sitting in the in the zone right there. It would have happened a whole lot quicker. And they will be flipping the field here on fourth and eight. Man, that sorry. mean that that means that the Trillion Boys will take over at their ten yard ten yard line. We don't have punts here at OT seven, so this is our version of the punt. And Trillion Boys will take over on offense. Ryan Rakowski, the young. Southern California, class 2027 QB, who has looked phenomenal here oh at OT7. And he takes a shot deep early to Jonah Smith, who you're going to hear a lot of today, the this, UCLA commit. This is going to be the question for the weekend. Can defenses guard Madden Williams or Jonah Smith? If they cannot do we've seen so far, nobody's been able to. If, if nobody can guard Madden Williams and Jonah Smith, they are going to win this weekend. I'm saying it right now. They have been my pick to win all weekend, and I think they're going to get it done. Because, one, Madden Williams, Jonah Smith, they've shown to be completely hey, unguardable. Madden, let, and two, you first. Are you Ryan the ball, Rakowski JJ? is You're finding the them with ease the ball, right now. Go fast, Five touchdowns in his first game today for Rakowski. He had an unbelievable week one. There's a catch right there. It's just easy. Stevie Amar, the three-star wide out from Westlake Village, California. It's been really all six and seven. Jonah Smith and Madden Williams, the two four-star wideouts as we see a replay of that catch there. I talked to Rakowski before the game. I said, can I get a score prediction? He said 28-14. I said, okay, so what? Two touchdowns to six? Two touchdowns to seven? He said, no. Keep your eye on eight and 13. So we'll see. We'll see if he's a, if he's a man of his word or if he just goes back to old reliable. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, the thing is, you can't blame him for throwing the ball to Madden. There's an easy pickup right there for first down. Great play call by Josh Stupin. I think this is the main thing, though, too. Stupin has, has just stepped up immensely as a play caller this season, and he has been on absolute fire. But the thing is, you can you can say, oh, you're only throwing to two guys. If those two guys are, 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 are wide open, what more can you say? You got the, slant, you got the trillion the boys have four four stars, a five star, a handful of three stars as well. A Mo is going to be wide open. And none might be better than Madden Williams right there on your screen. I see everyone in the chat saying, really, Trilly. Comment, really, Trilly. Trilly. Rakowski to the end zone. Incomplete. Intended for Mo. Uh, for, for Mo. So I see like, Mo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Thank you, there. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. He's trying to find his other targets as well. Just the chemistry that he has with Jonah and, and Ryan, or in, uh, and Madden Williams have just been unbelievable. 
Beautiful so ball placement right there, though, yep. too. That's, that's a pro-level throw because he's putting it in areas where only his guys can catch the ball and nobody else can. And you saw that in the last game that they played, too, with the jump balls to Madden Williams and Jonah Smith. He is continuously showing how talented of a quarterback he is and why Josh Stupin believes that he's the guy to lead truly to an OT7 championship. Murkowski drops back on second in goal, looking over the middle. Ooh, Golly. tough collision. I think we had a little friendly fire there. Yeah, receivers ran into each other. We had a guy stop on a route. It was just a complete mess right there. A lot of contact as well. But a third down here. Got to be able to get some yards. Got to get Madden and Jonah here. involved here. Let's go to the play sheet. Hey. They told me Listen, five touchdowns. We're here. Jonah, you got to spray here. Moa, you're first. Madden out, return. Caleb, CB, just run 10 yards out. One, two, three. Yeah, cheat up. Uh, uh, run out, five it out, day. Run out, five it out. He's telling these guys exactly what to run. He's gonna have Bay running five and out. Murkowski over the middle. That's complete to Madden Williams. Strong hands there from number seven. It's so easy for Madden Williams and Jonas Smith, man. They have just, I mean, look, for all the hype that we had last week about Boosie Feaster, mm -hmm. all the other wide receivers that we've had making all these plays, they are the most dynamic duo I've seen at the wide receiver position at an OG7 competition. Point blank period. They are dominating right now. Madden has offers from Arizona, Auburn, Cal. Rakowski here on fourth and goal. Incomplete turnover on downs and Fast Houston gets the big stop that they were looking for. That's what I was looking for for Fast Houston. And, and they're off to a slower start, but getting that stop on Ryan Rakowski, the first time we've seen Chili Boy stop today. That's good, really solid defense. They're playing physical against Madden and Jones. Let's welcome in the third member of our broadcast team, Jolie Live, who has a little more on the on three power rankings for us. Jolie, how are we doing today? I am good. I'm just vibing down here at the subway throne, you know, watching the game. Pretty good view from down there, you know, sitting on the subway throne. I, I, it's a little bit better than the broadcast booth. Jolie, what have you seen from the on three rankings? Do you agree with them? Do you disagree with them? You know, I've been talking about this a little bit today. SFE up there at number one, low pro at number two. Trillion Boys and Fast Houston, six and seven. Um, but I'm thinking I like low pro a little bit higher maybe. Um, maybe Trillion Boys a little bit higher. I don't know, unpopular opinion. But, you know, the rankings are what they are. A lot of people are commenting low pro should be higher. So I guess the chat and everybody else can comment what they think. Chat, let us know what you think. I think if the Trillion Boys play today, like how they have so far, they got to get a bump. I, and until I see Lil Pro lose a game, they have to be number one. I got to be honest, man. After what we've seen from Legends, what we've seen from Death oh my gosh. Taking a shot, too much sauce. But like I was saying, what, what I've seen from Legends, what I've seen from Raw Miami, what we've seen from Death Con Texas, what we've seen from Trillion out here, having SFE sitting atop of all of these teams, they got to show us something today. I don't expect, hey, if SFE is that good, if On3 believes that the rankings are that 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 just, SFE better not lose a game this weekend. I better see them win a championship. Just a reminder, we'll have SFE at 4 o'clock Eastern today on NFL Network. We'll be 4 to 6 Eastern. First, we'll have SFE versus Grand Elite. And That's going to be an insane matchup. And then level 82 versus speed Raw. Up, speed up, speed NFL up, Network speed up, speed and streaming on NFL Plus cannot Send wait for snap, both of those. But first, snap. we still have a full afternoon of action here on YouTube. Chad's saying low pro should be number one, and I agree. Over the middle. Oh, what a catch. Strong hands over the middle inside the 15-yard line. Marcellus Ryan bobbing and weaving. Oh, my goodness. What a catch. Look at these hands here, Kieran. Oh, excuse me, that, that was John Tavius Wyman. What a catch. Oh my God, just snagged it right out of the air, made some plays on, on the other side as well. Goodness gracious, 6-2 out of, out of Jonesboro, Georgia. Big target as well. Hey, if you've been enjoying OT7 action this afternoon with us, throw a, throw a like in the chat, do your part. We have a job to do, you have a job to do as well. And that's Taz Williams doing his job going inside the 10 yard line second for a second, second and goal. Second and eight, back up. Getting Taz involved is going to be the key for the fa this fast Houston team this weekend. Them possibly pulling an upset on this Trillium team. team. Good, but I'm liking what I'm seeing right now. A long drive, kill the momentum of Ryan Rakowski, Matt, Matt Williams, and them. They got the ball back consistently that last game against Huncho, and I'm trying to see what they can do now against a, a fast Houston team that's slowing the pace down. No score under 11 minutes left. Keep your eye on number one, Taz Williams. He's been a favorite target today. Oh, Using the ref as a pick. 
smooth operator. <laughs> Carson smooth Boyd. Smooth operator. That's crazy, the fact that he just hit a little... Like he, he never looks too phased, but a little jab step, a little, a little shimmy right behind the ref, using him as a pick. Look at this right here. The ref oh, left him. Smooth operator. The ref with the Gortat screen. Nah, if you know, you know. <laughs> that was beautiful. Slam, drag, Third and goal. Drag, play. <laughs> Carson Boyd is crazy. Read it. Got a third and goal right here. I'm looking for one of my bigger targets. They got Amari Winston right over the middle, lining up in the slot. What? Over They're the middle, over touchdown. Taz Williams. Taz Williams. Four stars, seven points, seven nothing. Fast Houston. And that's the Taz Williams that we've been hearing about all weekend. Gets in the end zone. Carson Boyd leading this Fast Houston to an early lead on who I think is going to win the whole thing, Trillion Boys. Mm. Taz Williams with 54 offers. He's class of 2025. Michigan, Buckeyes, Trojans, Penn State. 5'11 wide out from Red Oak, Texas. Oh, he's wide open. And it's I can't even get the words <laughs> out of my mouth. Madden Williams running all by himself. I mean. Oh, my goodness. I mean, what, what is there to say? What can you do? What can, Dude, I, he's, I can so, he's by himself. I can tell you a couple things. Oh my, if you look at the shot right before he crosses the goal line, it's literally him in the shot and nobody else. That's the best receiver on their team, and you're leaving him that open. It's crazy. Madden Williams, what? I mean, dude, Stupin is in his bag. Oh my good. He's in his duffy right now. The former child actor. I think he made a good decision to play football instead of acting. I think he did. Look, hey man, you can go catch touchdowns on Sunday. There's still an open casting call for All-American on Saturday. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? <laughs> Who knows? It might be a baller season six. It, 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 it'll happen. <laughs> the Rock will see him play and have to start it up again. 7-7 seven, seven inside the nine minute right mark. Let's take a look at these gamer ratings here for Madden Williams. The fact that none of these are no. over a 90 I is diabolical. Mm -hmm. nope. 83 catching, 80 jumping. Did you watch him head top someone last time? No, no, I, these, these ratings have got to go up. Where's, where's, where, where's the ratings adjuster? We need, we need an official OT7 rating adjuster. Game sliders. If, hey, Stupid is playing right now with the sliders on, for sure. Uh, Z, on, the way that they're just the creating space and whatnot. Right I'm, I'm, I'm trying to see what Carson Boyd's going to do here. Keep your eye on number six, Colby Howard. He is to the left in the slot right now. I was thinking, too, Day. Hey, looking over the middle, right through his hands. Taz Williams has shown strong hands all day. That one slipped through. I was thinking earlier, Day, that the way to get under the skin on, of this truly offense or, or stupid is just to keep him on the sideline, you know? Not have him out there calling plays. They came out first play, scored a touchdown like it was nothing. So maybe, maybe you need to start scoring quick again. Maybe that's what it needs to be. Rakowski does throw a gorgeous deep ball. But I will say, your guy's gonna be as open as that. I'm making that throw as well. It's easy. Oh, are you? Please, please, uh, I don't know. please. All I know is if our producer KJ was on the receiving end, it wouldn't get caught. That is absolutely true. Absolutely true. Nice catch there by Deion DeBlanc over the middle. I don't think we've had any NFL wide receivers from Providence College, right? Definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely not. Definitely. And, I, and I don't think I don't think KJ will, KJ will be the first. Ew. Yeah, no. Definitely not. <laughs> Fourth and six for this Bass Houston offense. Big play in this game, nearing the six and a half minute mark. Let's see what these guys up, can do. This is, a, this is a huge play here, though. Momentum shifting play. No money balls have come into play Send so far yet, but Send now, with only six minutes left in this game, things are going to get interesting. Five. Taz Williams, number one, lined up in the slot to the right, <laughs> needing six yards for a first down. <laughs> Looking for Williams. There comes the rush. It's going to take off. Oh, oh, did he not get touched? They say he did not get touched. Now oh. they say he did get touched. Yeah, so the ref, on, the ref on the sideline closest to it didn't see that he got touched, but then the ref in the end zone said that he did. Yep, he did get he touched right there. He got the towel, and that will be a turnover on downs. Big stop for the Trillion boys. That was Taven Epps, 2027 20, on the coverage. A 6-5 DB, Kieran. 6-5. Six, 6-5 six, is crazy. Yeah. <laughs> if you're 6-5, 
they norm sure. Yeah. They, they normally put you on off. No, that reach that reach is a little uh, a, little, a little long there to, to, to escape. But Carson Boyd almost making a really good play. Trillion though, now can they respond? It's still a tie ball game with five minutes left. Money ball still in play. They're not going to go with one here. They want the short field. Reminder: We have two more games coming up here on oh, YouTube yeah. before we switch to NFL Network. That's caught over the middle. Good enough for a first down. That's Moa, first goal, first goal. and Murkowski said he's going to be targeting 13 a lot this game, a lot more than he has earlier. We see him right there. And I like that right there, too, because <laughs> Jonah Smith won on his release and was wide open down the field on a nine. Hey, everyone, Kieran, everyone eats. Everyone eats. Everyone eats. Everyone eats. But I did like, I like the read from Murkowski because he stuck to his primary. Primary was there, didn't go off it early to go look to the guys that he's comfortable throwing the ball to. First and goal for Rakowski over the middle. A little bit too high for Madden Williams. See, and this is this is another thing that I absolutely love about Ryan Rakowski. That 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 pass right there is an incompletion. He's throwing it into an area with two DBs, the corner's coming off, and he has a safety. He puts the ball in an area where only Madden Williams can make a play on it. Even though it's incomplete, the only guy capable of catching that ball right there in a crowded area was his wide receiver. You're on the corner. Yeah, you're on the ball, Jonah. Yeah, he's in front of you. And then you have a corner. You have this slant stop from that time. Hey, I like Moa. His chances. Really roll out, <laughs> Keep your Ryan. eye on 13. One heart, we just heard Coach snap. Josh Dupin say, I like Moa here. I like that matchup. Right. 13 is in trips to the right. Oh, he's a little con yeah. some congestion and a nice pass break up there. And that will bring up a big third and goal. Things were getting a little congested on that side. They all ran into each other. Yeah, it seemed like they all ran into each other. A little bit, uh, a little bit of confusion there. It, on was, that it was actually quads. It wasn't even trips. Yeah, but this is why I like Ryan Murkowski. Even though his coach was in his ear saying he likes one read, he ends up seeing that it's not there, doesn't force the ball, goes to where he needs to. Dude, this kid's... He's got it, man. I know, I know Mo was in here probably like like raving on and on about him. Yep. He knows more about the quarterback position than I ever will. But goodness gracious, Ryan Murkowski's out here dealing. Third and goal to the end zone. Out of oh, bounds. Just out of bounds. Ran out of real estate. That was intended for Moa. And we got a crucial fourth down right here. Three minutes left in the game. So the class of 2027, Murkowski from Southern Florida, from Palos Verdes Peninsula. Nice ball here, but just a little bit out of the reach. All right, here we go. Big play here, Kieran. Three minutes left. Fourth and goal for Trillion Boys. They've been rolling on offense all day. We've seen it with the big strike, but when they get down here to the red zone, it's, it's been a little bit of an issue. The chat is wilding right now. I see y'all talking about dropping mama's milk. It's crazy. Now, over the middle. Oh, incomplete. No flag on the play, and Fast Houston is in the driver's seat. Fast Houston making plays over and over again. That's now back-to-back -back times they get a stop, making a defensive play on Madden Williams. Take a look, beautiful coverage that's broken up by Jonte Gilbert, the four-star from Atlanta, who just decommitted from Ohio State. He's the number 10 DB in the class. And Kieran, we have a money drive yep. right now. Here we go, money drive. Very key, you, you need you need a defensive stop here. If you're Trillion, you gotta hey, score. Drive, if you're Fast Houston, drive, it's now or no. Wait, oh, they we actually the money drive. do not have a money drive. First down, first if, I'm, if I'm first Trillion right here, I'm using a money first drive. You need to use the money drive on Trillion. You can use your money drive on defense starting today. That's a new wrinkle we've added. Oh, my Nearly goodness. intercepted Messiah Washington. Had a read on it, and he laid out for it, and he almost came down. Day full extension on that thing beautifully. Put himself in a play. Oh, big Travis Hunter last year interception that he had on the goal line against TCU. What a play. Oh my goodness, just I got, I got almost bringing that in. What a cut on the ball. He goes to the same high school that Bryce Young went to. A lot of town coming out we need, we need of South Florida. Read it right. California, California. Yeah, yeah. California, California. <laughs> excuse me, excuse me. Oh. Taking the shot deep. Oh, he's open. Has Taz Williams. Oh my goodness. Just through the hands is a thing that we're going to keep saying, Dave. Because that one was right there. Oh my goodness, just on his fingertips. He had a step or three. And the clock will tick down to the one minute warning. Take another look, Kieran. Oh my goodness, so close. So close. We've already seen one tie today in pool play. We're at a one minute warning right now, though. It's time to see which one of these teams can get the job done. 
Karen, we talked about the fact that today you can use, or starting today, I should say, you can use your money drive on defense. I would have loved to see the Trillion boys do that in this situation, especially with a third and 15 here. And that is the four second play clock. It will be a sack. The clock will run. 7-7, seven, seven. I don't know if they realize that the clock's running. Tick, tick, tick. 45 seconds, fourth down. There are no timeouts. They're not in any rush, day. They are in no rush. The clock stopped again. Oh, no, it should it should have stopped, though. That was an incomplete pass. Right. Oh, no, 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 actually, they said it was a sack. No, it was a sack. Yeah, I think the clock should keep running. The clock should keep running. I do not know why the clock has stopped. Wait, now it's at 54, 54 seconds. seconds. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I'm confused right now. Hey, come here. Okay, no, now, called, okay, so they changed the call on the field to an incomplete pass, huh. not a sack. Yeah, sure they did. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want that headache either. Yeah, no, if that would have been completed, things would have been a little different. Fourth and 15. Woo! Big play. We got a flag oh, on the field. Taking the shot deep. There could be another flag on the play. And that's going to be a flag on number three, Marcellus Ryan, for a jam at the line. An illegal jam at the line, okay. jumped How across, pushed him, both on defense. and then both on defense. held him ten, ten towards the end, a PI as first. well. Defense. Just ten a rough wrap there. Automatic first down. It's going to be an automatic okay. first down, and that changes the right, entire course, course of this game. Four oh, no, 48 some. seconds left. Trillion boys were about to take two. over. And you Not didn't so have a jam there. No, you didn't. You did. Like, they needed 16 yards. Fourth and 15. Yeah. Look, you got to protect the first down marker, but you can't be overly aggressive in that situation. Oh, man, that one, that one hurts. That one definitely hurts. Fast Houston at midfield, tie ball game reminder, no overtime in pool play. So we'll see if Fast Houston punches this in. They're 25 yards shy of the end. So taking the shot deep, intended for Kobe Howard, another play. Oh, my goodness. And you know what, though, Kieran? It's getting pretty oh, grabby go. down there. Oh, it is man. getting pretty grabby down there. It's been grabby on both sides, though. I like the refs letting them play a little bit right, right there, though. He, the contact man. wasn't. Right there. We saw Messiah Washington almost come up with the pick a couple minutes ago. And they're going to get him for P.I. here. Yeah, that was a little ticky tack, actually. At first, at, watching it in real time from our angle, that looked good, but I don't love that call after seeing the replay. Chat, let me know what you guys think. You guys think that that was a uh, PI or not? First and goal from inside the 15 yard line. 43 seconds left. Again, keep your eye on number one, Taz Williams, who's at the top of your screen right now. They have him in single, man on man coverage. Ooh, Rolling to the right, oh. he's got some space. Oh. Oh, the juke and the score. Smooth operator. Carson Boyd. Smooth operator. Smooth operator. Oh my goodness, the fact that he made that guy miss in open field was insane. I thought he scored oh, right oh. there. Oh, they say he is down at the two. Look at the move. Give me one more. Ah. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, he's down. He's down at the two. He's honestly down to like the one. That was, oh my god. Clock goodness. remains. Going down 13 seconds left. And they're going to keep running that clock down as they should. But, but hey, you want to get two plays off here. Now they're only going to have one play. Looking oh, over the middle, oh. knocked down with 4.2 seconds left. And barring a penalty, this will be the last play of the yeah. game. And now if you're truly, you're playing for the tie. Whereas if you would have taken that money drive, you'd be playing for the win right now. Yep. Oh, goodness. Let it go, let it go, let it go. Let's play football, let's play football, let's play football. Let's play football. Hey, 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 run the back line. Let's go. Back up, center, back up. 7-7, seven, seven. reminder, no overtime here in pool play. So barring a penalty, this is the last play of the game. Let's see who Carson Boyd is targeting here in the red zone. Inside the five yard line. Here we go. Boyd over the middle, incomplete. Oh, they were all over him. No flag on the play. And there's gonna be what, point three seconds? Wow, wow. The fact that that play come on, come on, come on. took come on. just over three oh, seconds, the fact that there's no flag. If you want drama, OT7 is delivering for you. You know, point three seconds left on the, I love that we do a point time system. Is it college football, there's no point time system. It's no, no, one second or there's no seconds. No, there is not. Point three, fourth and goal. Everything is on the line right here. 
Carson Boyd, the Illinois commit, the three-star, has his team on the doorstep, looking to punch it in for the win and get their first win of pool play. Looking over the middle, not on the same page as his wideout, and that is how it will end. 7-7 seven, seven is your final. Fast Houston cannot punch it in from the two. The Trillion boys decide not to use their money drive on defense, and that is how the game will end, 7-7, seven, seven, Kieran. Oh my goodness. A lot of contact on the line, but right here, in perfect position to make a play on Deion's block. He also loses his footing. Amazing goal line stand from Chilean boys to get the tie ball game. Do not go anywhere. We have Huncho versus Phase 1 coming up next. A lot more action on YouTube, NFL Network all day. 7-7 seven, seven is your final between Chilean boys and Fast Houston. <laughs> if you want drama, you better stick with us at OT7. Welcome back to OT7, everyone. We got a good game just now between Trillium boys. And who would they play again? They play fast. Yes, sir, they did indeed. <laughs> we had a tie game. I'm not a big tie guy, but Snipe, what would you think about the game? Hey, man, the game was actually good. Not like the score discouraged you, okay? Right. We've seen a very good game. And for the first time in a long time, we've seen something called defense. Yeah. We haven't seen any defense today. And we finally seen defense today. And by the way, we always talk about the four stars and the five stars on the offensive end. But both of these teams got very good defensive teams. And hey, they got their money's worth today. It was a great game for sure. And you know, for Trillion boys, you said they were going to win the whole thing. I think they're going to win it all, man. I know you got uh, Midwest Boom, right? Winning I got Midwest all. Boom, yep. I wouldn't even be shocked if we see that lineup uh, for it all. But so, I just, man, when you look at this receiving core between Jonah and Madden, it's something like I've never seen before in 707 football. Madden Williams has been unbelievable, as you mentioned. One of the best, he probably is the best receiver right now. And uh, we're gonna check out a little bit about him right now. What do you like so much about his game? I mean, it's his hands, bro. He can catch like some of the best of them. It's over the shoulder, in traffic, rather in a slot, one-handed. This guy can catch the ball so many different ways. And not to mention, when it comes to running routes, I watched him up live, I'm on the field, I'm watching him in game speed. He's probably the best route runner we have here. That's why he's always open. Yeah, he reminds me a lot of myself. Now, just in a second, okay. we are going right. to watch okay. FaZe and Huncho, two of the teams. This is their first time out here at OT7. Do you think that's a challenge for teams when they get out here for the first time? Absolutely. It's no different than, you know, it, this is a big stage for a lot of people. We see all the cameras, microphones. Hey, OT7 is unlike any 707 in the world. So I can definitely understand the nervousness. I mean, we even heard Micah Eugenio. Hey, I was a little nervous. You know, to the best of them. He's like the 707 god. You know what I'm saying? So it happens. Would you say Mike is the best player you've ever seen at OT7? <sighs> quarterback, yes. He just doesn't make mistakes. It's, it's very hard for me to say another quarterback is better than him when he can play 20 games with no with no picks. Just... And, and here you're checking out the schedule so far today. We've had a ton of great games, and we got games all day. Uh, Chilean boys coming up in a little bit as well uh, against Midwest Boom. Those will be our two teams against each other. And then we'll have a little break, and then later on today we'll have a couple games on NFL Network. I want to wait for you. If Trillion boys beat Midwest Boom, you got to give me 10 push-ups, man. 10 push-ups? On the camera. 10 push-ups. Shake and, my and, hand. And if I Shake lose, my hand. <laughs> and if I lose, I'll give you 10 push-ups on camera. That's what we're going to do. I'm excited for that one for sure. That might be one of the big games. We also got SFB that's going to play in a little bit. Who you got in this one coming up right now, Huncho versus FaZe? It's so tough, man, because FaZe has been playing pretty good. And I don't think Huncho's finally hit their stride. They have Creative player is, is the perfect is word a good nickname. for this quarterback. It is a great nickname. Look, Huncho has a great quarterback. I'm excited to see what he can do. I'm going to go Huncho again, even though I was wrong the last time. Yeah, you've been wrong a lot, man. I, I, yeah, the kiss, right. it, the kiss right. of death. We love to see it. We got a great one coming up in just a little bit between Huncho and Phase 1. We got games all day from Overtime Tom, Sniper Jones. We're going to be with Day and Kieran a little bit. Man, I can't wait for this one. We'll see you in a second. All right, Joey, you're running a button hook, all right? Tommy, backquarter fade. Billy, you're going to pump fake and then hit. 
coach, you don't remember my name, do you? I got 12 touchdowns this year. That's a rookie mistake. You're gonna hit Nick. Nick, that's who you're gonna hit. Snickers, official chocolate of OT7. Overtime Tom here for a break in the action. A turnover can change the momentum of an entire game. If there's one weak link, the whole team suffers. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can damage your lungs and the team. All right, let's go back to OT7. Welcome back to OT7 Season 3, live from Dallas, Texas. We've had a great day of pool play here in Week 2, and we are marching on. We have the very best high school prospects in the country descending on the Lone Star State, not only looking to put their names on the map and rep their team, but compete for an OT7 championship. Today we have Phase 1 out of Las Vegas versus Huncho Elite out of Atlanta. Me go! <laughs> I'm Alex Overtime Day, joined by my guy, Kieran Hickey Sample. Beautiful day we have here in Texas. It is a pleasure being with you, Kieran. It's a pleasure being here, man. We're going to watch more football. You know, I get to hear uh, you just do your best Migos impression. It's a good time. It's definitely a good time. Hey, I've been waiting for my moment. I've been waiting for my moment. <laughs> we have a great matchup right now, Huncho, Phase 1. Two teams that have really surprised a lot of people today. What are you looking for in this matchup? No, 100%. Huncho coming here, we, we they had a couple of issues with some guys missing out and whatnot, but they have shown up and they've actually performed well. They don't have that win yet, but they did have a tie earlier on today, and Darnell Kelly is the reason why. The quarterback nicknamed the created player. That's mm. a really tough nickname, I'm not going to lie. Mm. But he's been out here and he's been doing his thing. I want to see if Huncho can get their first win of the weekend here in their last game of full play. On the opposite side, you have phase one. Listen, we heard a lot of hype out of this team out of Nevada, possibly being the next low pro. People are saying, I mean, you got AJ Stowers, you got guys that are capable of going out there and competing at a high level. We saw them a little bit earlier. They're doing a whole lot better. Two and one could be a really nice record and a nice seating heading into tomorrow's bracket play. Both teams have looked pretty solid so far today. Karen, can I get a prediction? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with Phase One. Mm. I think they play. I think they play really, really well together. And and the real reason is Dominic hey, Oliver and Tavia McNair are studs. They are. They are. They are absolutely insane out on the football field. That one-handed grab that we saw earlier today, best catch of the weekend so far. I'm. I. I, I, I think that they're a the solid drag. team. I'm going Huncho Elite. Of course. I mean, I can't pick the same side as you, you know? That's true. That's but that true, is man. AJ Stowers for phase one, taking over on offense. Karen, talk to me about what we should expect from AJ. AJ's just a smooth operator. Same like Carson Boyd. <laughs> like, obviously not the, the, the running threat that Carson Boyd was that last game that we Back saw where he was just juking people out of their shoes. But AJ, he pats the ball a little bit, and he has an absolute cannon. That dude will fire the ball into a tight area, and he's not afraid to put the ball where his receivers can make a good catch. 6'1", 200 pounds out of Las Vegas, class of 2026. Threw for 2K last year, second in the state of Nevada. We see a lot of, I feel like we see a lot of lefty QBs coming out of Las Vegas. You think back to Mike Alejandro last year, who is now with the University of Hawaii. Hustle, hustle, hustle. The thing that I like about AJ though too is he's just so calm. There's something about a quarterback not looking like he feels pressure that I love so much. Just sitting back there like, oh, I can really care less about anything. I don't want to see my guy too high or too low. He's just even keel. 20 minute running clock here at OT7. Need to get to the other team's 20 for a first down. Like, look at him, just hands on hips, chilling. Just looking at the defense, making a soft low read. He's not going to move too crazy. If he has to run, he will. But right here, just relax. Fires a deep ball. Seven. And a beautiful ball over there the ball, AJ. to the corner. He hits his guy, Tavia McNair. Like I said, Dom and Tavia McNair are the two guys that are going to get things going for phase one today. Three star wide out. Great catch, but an even better throw. I mean, that was a tight window, Kieran. Only where his guy could get it. Exactly. And he did so with just such a calm, cool, relaxed Not yet demeanor. Know. If it was me Watch out there, the I'd be panicking, I'd be sweating. I'd probably throw the ball right into Tom's face or something on the sideline. First and goal inside the five, two. Easy. You Scott Holper, reservations for seven. Dude, Scott Holper only catches touchdowns. That's what, I'm, that's what I'm starting to realize. He won't get a catch in the middle of the field, but when it comes time for an important play, 
He's going to make that catch in the end zone. Scott Holper, touchdown specialist. The six foot wide out from Coronado High School in Vegas puts phase one up seven early. Beautiful, beautiful little arrow route right beautiful there. Beautiful arrow route. Ended up, ended up shaking his defender off right on the goal line. That's my favorite route on the goal line. I always think that's that's the Julian Edelman route. Yeah, that, whenever, I, whenever we were playing earlier and I broke your ankles, that was, that was the route that I ran. Cap, cap. Well, welcome in the third member of our broadcast booth, <laughs> Overtime Tom. How we doing, Thomas? Hey, fellas, how we doing over there? I, uh, I'm watching some good touchdowns over there. Good game so far. Who'd you guys pick in this one? I picked yeah. Huncho. Kieran picked Faze. <laughs> No panic on my side. Okay, okay, that's fair enough. But well, we're gonna check out the on three rankings real quick. On three is a recruiting site. They know the most about high school football and other sports as well. I know you'll see on the on three rankings here. A lot of controversy here. We got SFB number one at the top of the rankings with Low Pro who won OT7 Dallas week one. They're still at number two. They won't give the respect to Mike Eugenio and the squad. You see a bunch of teams on here as well. We're going to see SFB this afternoon. But guys, the low pro disrespect is unbelievable. Yeah, we got to stop disrespecting low pro. They're going to show up with a chip on their shoulder again. Just again. Giving them another reason. Do they have to win every game by 10? Is that what has to happen? Taking a shot deep. Oh, my goodness. Oh, also, we need Trillian out of the top 10. <laughs> Jeffrey Taylor on the pass breakup. The Class of 2025 DB from Fairburn. It's Garrett Kemp right there. He's trying to make a play in the air. He, what a throw though. Right now Kelly, he, he, has, he has a rocket on him. Listen, 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 listen pay attention. James, Almost James made that catch, man. Almost made that catch. Sorry, that was Terrius Favors on the pass breakup. My fault there. Same thing, he placed the back side safety. Just read it. You see what they've got though, man. So Darnell Kelly, what did you say his nickname was? The created player. What are your thoughts on that? I I love it. I love it. That's 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 a very confident thing to say about yourself. It's like I play like a free. Oh my goodness! Did he bring that in? Yes, he brought that in. Oh my goodness! Are you kidding me? Garrett Kemp, he didn't make the play on the last one, but he caught that one. What a catch! My God, I don't even know if he was the intended receiver, Dave. We need to take another look at this. My goodness! It felt like he was throwing it away at first. Caught it. Ooh. I don't that's know. Right, Let's take another look. Let's go. Start oh, out. man. That one's not no, bad. No, 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 no. He's in. He's in. He's oh, in. that right foot might have been in. That right that foot, right foot might have been in. Good call by our official. That'll bring oh. up a first goal from inside the 20. Nice catch by you, Dave. Uh. What a pass. Beautiful yeah. pass by yeah. Darnell yeah. Kelly. Yeah. Give me a seal route. You know what route yeah. is? Do you know what a seal route is? Huh? Seal route, bro. Yeah. No, sail route, bro. I can't find it. Uh, <laughs> Tip, run a sail route. Speed out. We're on Quentin over here. Deep post, deep post. Slow play, <laughs> slow play, slow play, slow play. Hey! It's always Go interesting on, how these teams line. call their plays. <laughs> you have, Come like, low pro on the sideline just, like, signaling all these things. Not a single word said. He's just like, do you know how to run a sail <laughs> route? <laughs> Kelly over the middle. That's broken up. I'll bring up second and goal. And we have a lot going on with that DB there. We've got a vest. I think we have a, a, a cape. It's an out. Now the cape keeps blowing in the wind. It almost looks like a tie at times. And he hit, the, he hit the best celebration though out there though. So he hit the little like box and then the thumb down. Shout out to Jabbar Muhammad, DB at Washington. He did that after crushing my dreams in the college football playoff this past year. Longhorn fans with no short-term memory. Yeah. No, I mean his cousin plays for our team, so it's fine. <laughs> Inside the 10 yard line Dennis for now. Kelly, rolling out to his right. Oh, to right. Touchdown! Oh, touchdown! Passo Elite ties this ball game up. And Darnell Kelly, impressive opening drive. That was nice right there. That was nice. I think he saw the ball a little bit late, too, which is the most interesting part about that catch. But. In the end zone, Darnell Kelly, smooth operator, moving the ball down the field. It felt like every single completion on that drive, they had Kelly moving outside the pocket to his left and his right. Yeah. Not really, we see a lot of seven on seven QBs, or just really QBs in general, prefer to operate from the pocket. They want to get Kelly out on the run. Second and 12, second and 12. Stowers getting right back going quickly. We'll have a second and 12. Buckle up. But I'll have you know, Harley Fisher came in and said, I'm in the eighth grade. I'm not a freshman in high school. Let it be known. I'm out here catching passes against these kids four or five years old. Well, let it be known then. Now, let it let it be known then. 
<laughs> uh, Stowers drops back. Complete. That'll be just shy of first down. Yardage will bring up a, th a third and short. Third we have two. Sniper Jones <laughs> cracking up in front of the broadcast booth right now. You know, what's fun about some of these OT7 weekends is how much we get to hang out off the field and work together. Yes, 100%. You know, so some inside jokes become public. Yeah, just over some barbecue. It's nice. AJ throwing deep incomplete in the end zone. That'll bring up a big play in this game. Fourth and third. I'm gonna see what happens right here though too. What's your strategy? Because I, me, for one, I'm a risk taker. Whenever you have these short yardage situations, everyone's expecting you to just take whatever you can to get across the line. With me, I'm faking it and I'm throwing deep. I'm going straight to the end zone right there. You're the evil Mr. Beast. 100%. He gives, he, 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 he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> Fourth and three. Let's we'll see what the strategy is. Let's see what the <laughs> Vegas QB is cooking up. Coach is looking Chopper. over at me saying, hey, we might have something for you. Going to his left. Oh, good catch. Reeled in beautiful hands there. That was a beautiful catch. Chase hey, Barang, 2025 from Honolulu. At 5'7", 150. Dio. Dio. Gets High up off the ground, first reels that one in for a nice it a little bit, made sure that he had it, got across the first down line. And they did, they, 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 they took the safe route, you know what I mean? Dropping back, looking over the middle, pumps, and that'll be too much time. Tom, what's going on down there? Right here. Hey, fellas, I am down here with Trillion Boys head coach, Josh Stupin. How you doing, man? Doing good. How about yourself? I mean, I'm doing a lot better than you. I didn't just tie. Second and 22. A tie better than a loss, but is it? It's frustrating. It's definitely more frustrating. But you feel a little bit better, but we shouldn't have tied that game at all. How do you feel with team play? Well, whose fault was it? Blame one player. That was a sack. I don't I can't do that. Was it Ryan's fault? Hey Ryan. Hey man. Nah, Ryan played a good game. You know what I mean? We gotta connect a little more, but it's gonna be you know, point fingers and whatnot. We have another game ahead of us. Tick tick. Um, bust. We gotta do it. Yeah. Coming at Boom is crazy now. You mentioned the on three power rankings to me. You guys were three in the preseason third, rankings. Third, now you're third, six. Dude. There's rumors that you're going to fall out of the top third ten eight, after a tie. What do you think about the rankings? Eight. Okay, so that's crazy, but um, low pro needs more respect. SFE is unproven. Raw obviously is at the top. I think we're right there below. I think it goes low pro, raw, us, obviously, because we haven't been able to get the pump of those. But SFE smacked them in the championship uh, tournament last year. You know, I don't know who else can really stop us. So. Four. You know, on three, you got to kind of get that hierarchy. Shout out Lopro, Micah, you know. But, uh, raw, we're still coming for that shit, so. I love it. And last question, Coach. You play Midwest Boom next. Can I get a score prediction? 42-17, Chilean boys. There you go, guys. Back to you guys in the booth. Fourth and goal. Unsuccessful. We have a turnover on downs. Just a reminder. Trillion Boys versus Midwest Boom. That game is going to be fireworks. That's coming up next on YouTube. All before we're back on the NFL Network at 4 o'clock Eastern. But, Kieran, right now, that was a big stop for phase one. That was a big stop. And uh, these okay, games... Sorry, excuse me, for Huncho. Yeah, 100% for Huncho. I, I, I think it's interesting, though, too. When, when me and you weren't in the booth, we saw some shootouts, man. We saw Trillion put up 40 points in the game. Now we get back in the booth. It's a defensive master class being put on right now by both of these teams. I want to see if Huncho can get a victory, though. Throws it up a little bit too long. I like how early he threw that ball, though, right there, too. Just as soon as he was getting out of his break on the wheel. That's nice. That's beautiful. That's pro-level stuff. It looks like he was looking for the back shoulder, not quite on the same page as his wife. Got this shit drawn off Huh? I know, but it don't matter. You get past him, find the ball. Going New Jersey, okay. double scenes on the outside, dig, post, outside, take inside this on your post. Out. Ten to snap, hey, ten to snap. Five, ten and out, on the right side, ten and out. Five, four. Seven, seven game, approaching the eight minute mark, and that will be too long and bring up third and very long. Hey, don't live. For yeah, Huncho Elite, eight minutes, minutes left in this game on two right here, right here, very right here. interesting. Karen, are you looking center, to go center, deep center, here center, and try to pick it up, or right are you going, are you trying to attack this in chunks? Uh, I mean, my thing is, if I'm looking to flip the field, I, I think I like attacking in chunks on first and second down. On a third and twenty, I haven't picked up a single yard, or actually, they're even backed up yeah. further than yep. that. You're going to some more over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go. T, I'm gonna take a shot. Start out out here, going motion, going dread straight across the front. I hear me. 
third and 24. One of my favorite plays in football is the arm punt. Are you aware of this? <laughs> right now. <laughs> the old Joe Flacco. Yep, on the third and on the third and 30, you know what I'm doing? I'm, I'm dropping back and I'm calling my Hail Mary. Now, if this is incomplete, there's a case to be made to flip the field. So here we go, taking the shot deep. Has a man open. Incomplete, a little bit underthrown. And that will bring up fourth and 24 right here, and I think you have to flip the field. Yeah, you do have to flip the field here, and I think right here, number two, James Johnson, you got to attack the football over the floor right Yep. You have to, you have to plant your feet, jump up. Look, it's going to hurt. The ground is definitely going to hurt, but you got to attack the football because you had space. You can jump up, and even, even if you don't catch it, you're going to get a P.I. call. Absolutely. That's, 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 uh, yeah, you have to attack the football right there. Back to work for phase one. 7-7, seven, seven, oh, under seven, seven minutes 12, remaining. 12. We'll have a I second round, 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 round 11 or 12. Yeah. See what AJ Sowers can do now. Now, Six minutes left on the clock. Still a tie ball game, so neither of these teams out of there. That's not a killer for, for Huncho. And also flipping the field makes them drive the I'm keeping my eye on number two, Dominic yeah, Oliver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Domo, three-star wideout, big boy, 6'2", class of 2025. We haven't seen him very much. He can slide, too, and he's got really good hands. He's in the slot to the right right now. Little curl route. Oh, wow. Yeah. OK, Day. I mean, Day. Coach look, Day. Look, First look, down. look. My name's Alex Day. You can call me Tony Romo, though. First That's all. Oh, oh, no. Goodness. You don't want that. Actually, actually his his First his broadcasting game. career, oh, Jim. Not, not his QB <laughs> career. Oh, Jim. Jim, I don't know. What are we running here? about this with Jim. It's right over the I don't know, Jim. He's nice. Just believe him. Believe him. Believe him. I want to know how old that center is. Tom, can you find out after this play how old He's been that dying is? to get on camera, so I, I got you guys. The Huncho secondary, by the way, fellas, talking a lot of trash. First and goal. Be down at the 12 yard he, he line. He gave me the Jordan shrug after the commotion. <laughs> End zones. <laughs> the first time I've seen uh, Scott Holper catch the pass in between. What do we got this time? This time? Hey, him. He gonna have Ask how old he is. Come back somewhere. Communicate. I just know him. Telepathy. But watch. Tell you. How old are you? Me. I'm 14. Uh, I don't know about that. Class of 2028. Is that you coming at wide out of this time? I, I believe he's coach's son. I believe he's coach's son. He's a great snapper. He is a great center. Going yeah. to the right. Throws it to the corner. Oh my Touchdown. god. Oh, he's coming to talk. He's coming to talk. What a dime. Did I not say Tay McNair? Did I not say that? Come on now, you know how we get. Tay, you know how we get Tay McNair, the three-star wideout from Corona Cali. That's the real Tony Romo right there. Pack it up, pack it in. Oh my goodness, what a ball right there from AJ Sowers. He just came over, gave the heart. Oh my goodness, what a ball. That was a dime. Absolute dime in the back corner where only his guy could get it. One foot in bounds for Tay McNair. Tough. Tough the, le the lefty rolling to his right with a gorgeous throw to the pylon. And Kieran down seven. Huncho Elite is using their money drive. Explain the scoring for those of us that forgot. So, money drive, you get 10 points for scoring a touchdown. But if they do get stopped on this drive, it's four points to phase one. If they end up getting intercepted, it's six points to phase one. And if it gets returned for a touchdown, it's a pick 10. Send the snap. You do not want the pick 10. You definitely don't want the pick 10. Pick 10. Over the oh, my goodness. Oh. Woo. Things got scary right there. Intended for Tristan Payne from Milton, Georgia. He was the state champ last year in 7A. Got offers from Moorhead State, amongst others. And let's throw it down to Tom, who has Tate McNair by his side. Thank you, fellas. Tate, an amazing catcher, an amazing route. Take me through the play. Uh, you know, Coach Dante using the smart in his brain, put me in the slot, run the corner, beat it up, beat the it safety, up. moved inside. Wide open. I, I swear to God, I'll lay you to dead with this play. <laughs> yes, sir. But it was a good play by our coach. And, yeah. Before the snap, could you tell, like, oh, there's going to be, they got, they got a good matchup here? Yeah. Uh, he, was, he was weak. So it was like, it was easy for me. And I knew I was going to beat him. Beat him off the line, run the corner. Did you did you think he would score? Yeah, I knew it. He said pick, but he was he kind of uh, slow, bro. He kind of slow. I called you out on it. I said, Tay McNair will score. All right, Tay, we get a couple more touchdowns today? Yes, sir. We got your quarterback here. You didn't say anything nice about him. Oh, yeah. AJ? Dot. For sure. You do a good job out there? Great ball. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, man, it's, all, it's all God, man. You know. I, I love it. I love it. I love it. We're going to guys get back to the action. Back to you guys. Over the middle, incomplete. 
That will bring up a massive fourth and 14. And with this being the money drive, they're going for this right here. Big yeah. play in this game, down seven with a chance to take the lead. But first, they need 13 yards to keep this game alive. Dude, chat, let me know what y'all think. Y'all think, oh my goodness gracious. Chat, y'all let me know what y'all think. They gonna get this done. Is Huncho gonna win their first game here at OT7? Just a reminder, Trillion Boys Coach, versus Boom here. coming up next, but this like is everybody. a massive play right now. I like everybody. Turn the it. snap, turn the snap. If you love everybody, here we go. someone say you don't. Kelly drops Wait. back, throws deep, wobbly ball. Oh, oh and he's foot touched out of bounds, but it's still incomplete on a fourth down. Does not matter. It's a stop. <laughs> Tack on four and phase one. Goes up 18 7. Let's take another look here. So he intercepted, did it? Oh, They're going to say it's an interception? So, he get, so one of the feet was out of bounds. Was but did he reestablish oh. himself before oh. catching the ball? It seems like he like he so he's not in possession of it. The thing is, once his foot goes out of bounds, he has to reestablish himself before he does. Getting possession. I think this is going to be an interception. Back up, back up, back up. Yep, that's going to be an interception. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So as this Hang clock on. ticks down with just one minute remaining, it is looking like all phase one at the moment. It's complete inside the 10. One minute, one minute, one minute, regular timing. Yeah, someone in the chat said it looked like interference to me. I, I, I don't know. Say nothing. <laughs> but the you, thing is, you're making a play on the ball. You're making a play on the ball, seven, so I'm okay with it. But it did kind of look uh, to me. That was that was a crazy play, though. Huncho Elite so close every time today, too. They have looked very good today. They but, look good. But they, they have not gotten over that hump. Right there. Hey, Tony, Tony. Do you guys, do you guys blame snap, Quavo? Turn the snap. I, I do. I, I, I'm a big Quavo fan. I can't blame Quavo. Come on now. Quavo at quarterback is interesting to me. Quavo, have you seen Quavo play quarterback? Yeah, Tom? he's active. He's a, he's a ball. Right here, right, back up, back up, back up, back up. I like Quavo. Third down I think we'd be 10, friends. Third down to ten. I think so too. Third and ten. Real question is though, this is the last one. Uh, this is the last game of, of pool play for Huncho Elite. Mm. How far do you guys see them going tomorrow? I see them Sick. winning. They they could win a they could win a game. Versus who? They could I want to see. They I, think, I think if they played Phase One again, they could win. So when there's seven games at OT seven. <laughs> yep. They uh, the snap, lost six and one and drew one. So they're due for a win. They're Five. due for a win. If you believe I say, in two, I say Huncho goes on a run to the Wait. semifinals tomorrow. You're oh, oh, it's a pick. That's pretty big. Drop the ball, drop the ball. Game is over. It's a two possession <laughs> game. But just, re but, but just a reminder, you're still allowed to get excited by still, it. About you can still get excited about a pick. If he would have returned that to the crib, things would have been crazy. Wait a minute, Kieran, if you think they're going to the semis, that means you're knocking out either a trillion or a raw or, or an SFE or, or, or boom. Speaking of boom. Level 82. I said what I said, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> Let it be known. Let it be known right, then. Right, Midwest man. Boom coming up yeah, next the against bracket. the Trillion <laughs> Boys. That will be our final game on YouTube for the afternoon before we head over to NFL Network. And then we'll come back on YouTube. I just want to see Huncho win. Huncho win, man. Get to get one. For Quavo, man. We got to get Quavo out here to play quarterback. He dot these kids up, man. Clock is running. Clock is running. Clock. Continues to run. Chat, y'all let me know how far would Huncho make it if Quavo was playing Quavo? <laughs> Darnell, Darnell looked like Quavo out here. Darnell's, Darnell's, like Darnell's well. falling. I'll take Darnell over Quavo. Dude, he has a cannon too. Darnell, real talk, has a cannon. Now, not to get too in the weeds, but they do have another quarterback, Antoine Hill, who might show up tomorrow. Mm. Is that going to affect your prediction of them? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you might pick a, a winner, a championship then. Hey, chat, while we have you, let us know who you think is going to win the next game between Trillion Boys and Boom. Tom is super high on Boom. Boom, Kieran, baby. Kieran, is that how it goes? I'm, dude, Trillion's going to win this whole thing. Tom, I've been saying it. Tom, how does it go again? Uh, Boom. 
let it be. <laughs> I, Tom is the guy who will randomly in the office as we see them take a shot deep. Ooh, yell, everyone yell your favorite curse word on three. So now the fact that Tom's Whoa. getting Put it in the shot. Put it in the chat. Don't do that. Don't do that. <laughs> We've gone off the rails here. I have to bring it back in. Me, of all people, having to bring it back in. It's crazy. And we have to get it out of our system before we're on NFL Network, you know? Very true. Very true. Fourth and 11. This game is all but over with 18 seconds left. So we'll be back on NFL Network at 4 o'clock Eastern. That game will be SFE and Grand Elite, then level 82 versus Raw. Ten to snap, but first, ten we to have snap. one more game on YouTube, Trillion Boys versus Boom. Here we go, fourth and 10. I say you take a shot to the end zone. There it is. Give me a highlight. Throws it up. Oh, oh my goodness, that was so close. Too far out of bounds. Aiden Taylor, his foot, I'm telling you, his foot was closer than you think. Oh, oh they're face so is hype. Hype. Face is hype. Faze doesn't care about the 10 seconds remaining. Oh, they said it's matter. curtains here in pool play. I kind of like Faze, yo. Oh, someone's camera got destroyed over there. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, let's go, let's go, let's no. All the lenses, everything out of there, man. Got to watch out. He's going to be more careful. He's going to have to invoice him for that. No, no, for real. Yep. Hunter, uh, one of your yeah, cameras just got there. ruined. <laughs> <laughs> take it out of the budget, man. I'll take it from the social budget. Thank you. Uh, there you go. There you go. That's Unlimited OT, budget. That's OT7 Commissioner, overtime Hunter, overtime Mandel. He has not worn sleeves since the Obama administration. <laughs> It's perfect tune-up for what we got coming next with JR. I don't think he's worn sleeves since a baby. Uh, first and goal from the 20. Point differential matters, too. Oh, my goodness. Touchdown for him. Touchdown it, specialist. This might be three trips to the pit in 30 seconds. This is probably his OT7 record. All Scott Hoper does is score touchdowns. <laughs> Coach is talking to me. 25-7 is your final. Phase one on top <laughs> over Huncho Elite. AJ comes over and waves and said, GG's in the chat. Don't go anywhere. Chillian Boys versus Boom coming up next. Phase one, 25, Huncho Elite 7. Don't go anywhere. One of the games of the day coming up next. Hello and welcome to OT7 for more football. It's your boy Sniper Jones and I'm joined by the quarterback guru Mo Hassan. What's up, bro? What up, Snipe? What up? We just saw a underrated quarterback matchup. We had AJ Stowers with phase one, Darnell Kelly on the other side, uh, who they call the creative player actually. And he played well, but AJ Stowers got the better of him. And uh, we saw why they call him the second best quarterback in the state of Nevada behind Micah Eugenio from Lopro. Hey, man, this Huncho team is coming in. Last year, they were okay. They didn't meet their full potential. Now, this year, I don't think they hit their full potential again, but I don't think it's – I think it's too early to jump off the Huncho Elite train. They still got a lot of time to make it up. Now, that was their last game today, but, of course, they got more in bracket play. However, when it come to phase one, wow, we see them get active. At first, a little close, but then it just – it got out of hand. Yeah, and the way they responded from the first loss was really interesting. How A.J. Stowers performed in the second game, coming off a few interceptions in the first one. He looked really, really impressive. That back corner uh, throw over, over the nickel defender was one of the most beautiful balls I've seen in 7-on-7 seven seven this past weekend and this weekend included. Um, so if he can continue that momentum and rhythm, I think they can make a run. Now we about to see the premier matchup of the day, one that I've been waiting for. Me and Tom got 10 push-ups on this game right here. We got Trillion and, of course, Midwest Boom. Hey, Mo, both of these teams are undefeated today, which means whoever loses this game will get the first L, not to mention a lot of people are thinking that these two guys will meet 
and a championship. Guys, don't go nowhere. This is the game that you guys want to see. Kick it to the guys of the booth. Peace. After review, the ruling on the field stands. Clean catch. First down. Yeah, I don't know about that one. It's caught me on IG, so clean catch. Gotta remember to turn your mic off. That's a rookie mistake. Snickers, official chocolate of OT7. Overtime Tom here for a break in the action. A turnover can change the momentum of an entire game. If there's one weak link, the whole team suffers. So remember, vapes can contain toxic chemicals that can damage your lungs and the team. All right, let's go back to OT7. do you do welcome to ot7 season three week two live from dallas texas we have the very best high school players in the nation not only looking to put their name on the map but rep their team and compete for an ot7 championship we have two of the most prestigious seven on seven programs in the nation playing in this pool play game in the trillion boys from southern california in the midwest Ooh from Chicago. I'm Alex Overtime Day, joined by my partner, Kieran Hickey Sample. Kieran, we got a great game coming up here. We do have a great game coming up, and I'm very excited to watch it. Ryan Rakowski, Trillion Boys, taking on JR in his sleeveless shirts and his defense with 87 coverages. I'm so excited to watch this game. These are the two biggest personalities in all of 7-on-7. Seven seven. The energy is always great at OT7, but there is a certain level of hype right now. What should we expect in this game? You should expect a lot of trash talk. You should expect a lot of highlight plays, and you should expect Ryan Rakowski to continue to show why he is so special at the quarterback quarterback position as only a freshman. The most impressive quarterback I've seen out here this uh, today. Mm. I'm very impressed by him and they're my pick to go to all the way to the championship. On the flip side, you have Midwest Boom, who you always know they're going to show up ready to play. You always know they're going to show up drift out. You see the line, you see the neon, you see the swag, you see the drip. They are here to show people what they can do. Coach JR, he's going to bring the intensity every time. Coach JR said, we know we're close, but good has not been good enough. You know about Boom at this point. Let's see if this is their year, if this is their day. You hear the horn. Karen, you ready? I'm very ready. Let's get it going. Midwest Boom starting with the ball that's complete over the middle. Gain of nine yards. So just a reminder, running 20 minute clock here at OT7. Have to get to the other team's 20 for a first down. We'll have a second and long right here from Midwest Boom. Yeah, and I'm liking the, the two quarterback system that they have working for him right now. You got Jonas Williams playing, and you also have Jack Elliott playing a lot. Jonas Williams has been the guy kind of taking over here recently. He's been throwing some darts, some absolute dots out here. It's time to see what they can do, though, on offense. Scanning to the sideline, wide open, wide open. and inside the 10 yard line, the three star Quinn Morris tiptoes into the red zone. Beautifully drawn up play right there, gets his guy open on the corner, wide open outside. You see you see Jonas just going through his reads, finds his guy wide open over the middle. The, young, way for it to open up. the younger brother of Michigan's Tyler Morris out of Plainfield, Illinois, 5'11", 162, has offers from Michigan and Ball State, Minnesota, a couple others. We'll keep our eye on number three. And they're dealing with a newer wide receiver for Oh, dangerous oh, throw. Oh, <laughs> they're going to say he was oh, just he down right there. Ian Willis. Oh, my goodness. What a dangerous throw. There was no need for that. I, 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 hey, there was the need to get a yardage, and he got yardage. I, I, don't tell me about wants and needs. That ball got where it needed to go. <laughs> but I was saying though, early on, like this Midwest boom is going to be dealing with a little bit of different, like a little bit of changes this year. Last year they had Amarion Stewart. He's now at Michigan. Michigan. You know, reigning national champions. Rolling to the right oh, a my little goodness. bit too long. That will bring up third and short, third and hey, goal. I want to see who their go-to guys are, who those, who those guys are going to be. So, one guy that I'm looking forward to, Kieran, is Talon Taylor, number one. He looked fantastic last year at OT7 season two. And for a Midwest boom program that I feel like you always see strong defense, but the offense one day will look great, one day will look hey, a little bit down. shaky. Talon Taylor has been a sure-handed guy. Right now he, I believe, is lined up or is now in motion 
Over the middle. There he is. Taylor, Taylor, Taylor. Taylor. If you ask, you shall receive. He is one of the best wide receivers Ooh. in the Midwest for a reason. He was on the team last year. And as you, oh, the Selly is tough. Oh my wow. God. Wow. Nah, they, he, he's a problem. He's a problem out here. He's going to be their go-to guy. Easy touchdown right there. We saw him last year. He looks even bigger. He looks even faster this year. He does look a lot bigger this year. 6'2", 175. Four stars from Geneva, Illinois. The number 14 wide out in his class. I love how patient Jonas Williams was right there. Mm. Just going through his reads, scanning the whole field, found his guy over the middle. Easy touchdown. We'll throw it down to Go! Tom, who's standing by with a little bit more on our on three power rankings. Out, What's going on, Thomas? Thank you, fellas. And hey, here we have one of the first top 10 matchups of the day. We have the on three rankings made by on three, one of the best football recruiting sites that you're ever going to see. They know everything you got to know about seven on seven high school football. We move the rankings here. We actually have Trillium Boys ranked number six in the top 10 right now, and Midwest Boom is ranked number eight. So a matchup between two top 10 teams. I have Midwest Boom, as I've mentioned a bunch of times. I think they take down Trillium Boys, get up in the rankings into that top five after this week. But of course, low pro number two, SFB number one. Oh, West Boom, are they a little low at eight? Can we get them up a little go, bit? Go, 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 What do you think, go, fellas? Go. Mm. I think they're here to prove it this week. And right I think right they here. can with the victory right here right. over Trillium Boys. I would like to see them move Be up, safe. but you got to show up pump bracket play as well. Kieran, right now, Ryan Rakowski and the Trillium Boys are in no huddle offense. And this offense has looked great all day today. We have not seen them in no huddle. They've been typically huddling up. But also what we've noticed from Trillium Boys, they've had the big play, but when they try to matriculate the ball down the field, how's that for an Ooh, SAT word? Flexing on him. They've, they've struggled in the red zone. They've big matriculation. Oh, I like it. That was a tough word. That was a tough word. We, we, we have our company lawyer, Andrew Iger, so <laughs> impressed with that word You know, right he now. sees a lot of words. Oh my God! Madden Williams! God. Look, Ryan, Ryan. for real! Look, Ma, one hand! Oh my goodness! What a catch over the... Dude, he makes it look so easy! If you've been watching Trillion Boys so far I'm during OT7 him. Season 3, it has been the Madden Williams and Jonas Smith show. Number six, number seven. And Madden Williams has the four star standing by with him. Hey, Madden, my guy. Light little catch there? Yeah. Take me through. What happened? Uh, you know, we just ran the play call. Josh called a stick knot. So I ran it, shook the DB. He was still on me. Quarterback put it where only I could get it. It's a great ball. A light little one-hander? Light, light little one-hander. We did work on this in practice. There you go. Madden Williams, a great touchdown catch. And we're ready to see Midwest boom back on offense, fellas. I, I can't say enough about where Ryan Rakowski's ball placement is as a freshman in high school. This, what? Every single time, he's one, he's not turning the ball over, and he's throwing into tight windows. That was great defense. You just can't beat that good of a throw and that good of a wide receiver. Oh my goodness, what a play. We'll talk a little bit more about Rakowski when they take over on offense, but it's back to work right now for Midwest Boom. Tie ball game, six minutes in, and that will be too long. We have a four second play clock go, here. Reminder, four seconds to throw. After two seconds, you can rush. That took a little bit too long right there. Tom, what's going on down there? Yes, sir. Hey, fellas, I'm here with Coach JR, my favorite coach in all of OT7. How are we doing? Well, you're my favorite announcer, whatever you want to call it, general manager, you're it. I love it. Now, squad's out here. You face off against Trillian Boys. Coach Stupin said they were going to win 41-17. Any reaction? We'll see on the end of the score, OK? I don't do this. I do this. So JR doesn't talk with his fingers. He talks with his fists. So if he wants to do it, do it. I don't care what the scoreboard says right now. I care what it says in 13, 31 seconds. And uh, if you guys did have to do it with your fists, though, I, I take you over stupid. Yeah, I do a backflip, power bomb, elbow drop. And you got two great quarterbacks on your squad, Jonas and Jake Elliott. How are you guys dealing with the, with the, the competition? Let's go for it. Uh, I mean, they offer two different things, two different styles of play, so the defense has to call different coverages based on who's in. And good luck if they can make those adjustments. And obviously you're the defensive wizard. How do you slow down Madden Williams, Jonas Smith on the Trillion Boy side? We're going to make them force to do intermediate throws. Big boy throws or bombs, short dinks and dabs. Can you throw digs and host stops? We want to see it. I love it, Coach. Appreciate you. Good luck the rest of the way. Back to you guys in the booth. As it said, OTE, Coach JR said, if you're feeling froggy, then jump. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a flag on the play because I think we might have an early rush here. He came Trillium. in just about immediately, Karen. Yeah, just about immediately. 
Matai Tagwai, I mean, dude, Matai Tagwai is making so many plays out here. It is an early rush call, so that's going to be a five-yard penalty. We are going to repeat the fourth down. Man. Fourth and seven here for Midwest Boom. Big play in this game. Seven and a half minutes in. Keep your eye on number one, Talon Taylor. Taking a shot deep on fourth and short. Oh, and he just Turnover on downs, and the Trillion Boys will have a short field and will look to take oh, the lead. Oh, right through Terrence Smith's hands. Oh, actually, great defense. From the angle over here in the booth, it looked like he just dropped it. Dejon Petaway, the four-star safety Aggie fans. You know about him. Texas A&M commit from Katy, Texas. Yeah, Showing out in his home state. We got buzz in the ear yeah. saying kick him over here. Read it's it crazy. Up. It will be first and short. Just need to get to the 20. They should take a Got shot it. here on first and short. And they do. Wide open. Wow. Daylight savings. Oh, how, do, how do you stop them? How do you stop yeah, them? Money how do you stop them? Head. They need a name. The treacherous little I twins. I don't know what they are. Hey, he trusts me. He trusts me. Jonah Smith is addicted to the end zone, dude. Madden, the, the law firm of Williams and Smith is as responsible for millions of dollars of punitive damages. And it's, it's getting crazy. Hey, Tom, just do me a favor and remind Jonas Smith that he told me if he scores three touchdowns, he has to come up to the booth and say what up. Just remind him that. I'm going to tell him right now, hey, Jonah, reminder, you score a third touchdown, we need you up in the booth. I got you, I got you. That was an easy <laughs> one right there. It wasn't easy. It was a good play call by Mr. Stoop. Mr. Stoop. He's, he's not good at things. I don't know what you want me to say. All right, that's fine. Yeah, we'll rally. There you go. There you go. We'll rally. Mr. That's Stoop. That, that's Gavin. Stoop is trying to call a good plays, and he got the players calling him Mr. Stoop. <laughs> that's crazy. 14 <laughs> 7, Midwest Boom looking to tie this up. That's oh, good man. enough for first. No. Oh, he tried. The knee was down. They're going to say he, he was down. down. Truly is very adamant right now that that ball was dropped. Let's hit the ground. Look, OT7. OT7. Boom. Bang. Oh, he Get never it out. had that. Get it out. Get it out. Incomplete. We got the defensive coordinator there grabbing the mic. <laughs> we do not. We do not review calls unless it is a change of possession or a scoring play. Tough luck. Deal with it. We're trying to call timeout. Inside the 20 yard line, new set of downs. First and goal. Midwest boom. Incomplete. That was intended for Taylor. Hey, let's go, Wu! No replays on that one. That's pretty tough. That was that was an incompletion. Easy there, killer. He's angry, man. There's a lot. Of, the vibes are getting higher out here today, yeah, guys. No, now as you get to the afternoon. I tried to tell y'all before this game started. These two teams talk. They love talking. <laughs> and by the way, not just the teams, the coaches, too. The coaches, too. yeah, it gets, it gets active out here, man. I We've love We've talked it. enough about how terrible referees are as humans. Ooh. Just as a whole. Wow. Every time I see a referee, oh. I'm reminded of how many people exist. Oh, 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 my oh. goodness. Oh. Ooh. No. What the move? Oh, Ian, I got to see a replay. Ian right Willis trainer. said, go pick up your socks. Trainer. Oh, my goodness And Coach Jarrett is calling for the trainer because he just assumes I'm the defensive sorry. player is I don't want to hurt you, baby. Just check on his ankles. That's my Ain't bad. No check man. on his ankles. That's all I'm saying. Safety first in the in OT7 what? league. You need the trainers, right? Uh, yeah, that ankle did not look good. That was like, crack, crack. Like that. <laughs> Ian Willis, the three star from Wheaton, Illinois. Juke stick. What the play? And they go right back to him. Finish off that drive, young man. Ian Willis, a three star. Marshall, Miami of Ohio, Bowling Green. He might have picked up a few more after that drive right there. That's the touchdown they needed. Got right back in the game, and Trillian is upset right now because they still feel like that ball was dropped. You know how you put that energy back into the field? You score again. You call touchdown right Madden Williams or touchdown left Jonah Smith. Because that, that seems like their entire playbook right now. Jonah Smith in the slot right now. That's complete to Madden Williams. Makes a man miss and skirts out to the 25-yard line. Dude, they're unstoppable. They're legitimately unstoppable. They remain in no Ryan. huddle offense. Rakowski Ryan, out to the flat. Now, Rakowski did tell us he wants to get 
13, Moa more involved, as well as Epps, number eight. We see Moa right there with the catch. Kieran will have a third and short. And another thing you might not be able to see on the screen, or uh, well, another thing you might not be able to see out here is the wind is really picked up. But Rakowski is capable of dotting people deep in the wind. We saw last week. And then also just picking apart teams, matriculating the mm. ball down the field, like you said. <laughs> I, th this kid, I mean, I'm so impressed by him, man. I can't, I can't stress enough how impressed I am. Rolling right. That's good enough for first down yardage. Jonah Smith, the UCLA commit from Rancho Santa Margarita with a first down. Wow. Hey, hey, let, let me get, hey. There's a slow clap right hey, there for you, bro. In what, my what's bag, going on? like the fries at the bottom. In his duffy with the rolled R's and everything. <laughs> Man. You've been on a couple of vacations, huh? Uh, you know, we like to take advantage of our downtime here. Yeah. That's all, that's all. <laughs> first, and go first and goal for Rakowski. And who else? Jonah Smith. It's so easy for the kid, man. It's so I'm, I'm I'm literally I got goosebumps and I'm excited watching him because I love watching elite quarterback play and everything I've seen from him. Not only last weekend, he looks even better this weekend. Tom, you love Rakowski, right? I'm a big Rakowski fan, but I'm right next to the quarterback guy himself, Mo Hassan. Mo, what do you think about uh, what do you think about Ryan? This was the matchup to watch this morning. This defense, who in my opinion is probably the most sound, at least in this morning group. Right. Just the way they're able to present different variations of coverages and rushes. When we talked to Coach JR earlier, he's got 30 different looks that he's showing a young freshman quarterback, and so far he's slicing and dicing. And, and obviously Ryan's got those two receivers, Madden and Jonah. Talk to me about how great they are. They're unbelievable, man. It's the Madden and Jonah show. We knew yeah. that since last weekend. One of them led in touchdowns, the other in yards. Um, and just the fact that you know you're going to target those guys and you still can't stop them makes it even more yeah, impressive. Arizona, Arizona. I love it. Let's see if uh, Ryan can punch it in here. Back to you guys. We need a Arizona, shot of the Arizona. booth right now to show how windy it is. It is, it is hey, extremely Ryan. windy. We're in some extreme conditions. <laughs> we're, we're in some we're extreme holding up conditions. We're right an audible, now. by the way, guys. <laughs> we got three people holding up the tip right now. <laughs> Rakowski <laughs> to the flat. That's complete Madden down. Williams. That will bring up a big fourth <laughs> down in this game. These kids, these kids, these yeah, conditions. No, we're, we're trying to right now. It's, uh, it is mad windy out here, which is why you see less deep shots going on right now. Man, out on the field with it would suck if you guys out. died. What? What? <laughs> it would be so annoying. We'd, get, re we'd get replaced by Bunchy. Just inconvenient. Immediately. <laughs> Show must go on. Rolling out to the right over the middle. Oh, oh touchdown. my goodness. What a catch! That's two, Jonas Smith. That's number three. A hundred percent reason to remember the name Jonas Smith. Oh my goodness gracious! That's another one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What a play, dude! You just you can't stop Madden Williams and Jonas Smith. Oh my goodness! Two guys draped all over him. Two guys draped all over him, doesn't matter. He's still going to be able to make the catch in traffic. They, whether you throw it up in the air, whether you need him to route someone up and be wide open downfield, whether you need him to catch the ball in traffic, it doesn't matter. Madden, Williams, and Noah Smith, they are going to get the job done. That's a big point adjustment to the Mo, tight Forced little window there for Rakowski, like punched it right in. It was strong yeah, hands, man, strong okay, hands. And keep an eye on Jonas Williams right now in the game. He played the first drive, they put him back in, they just got a huge completion Ooh. right here. He's a 2026 guys with Arkansas, Missouri, and Michigan offers, so I'm really impressed so far by him. That was Amante yeah, right. Cook need, sliding up uh, the field right there. Let's go just back to Jamaja and Jeremiah. Can you run like that back in your playing days, Mo? Oh, easy. I, I showed him a thing or two in the warm-up section. Oh, got you, got guys. You. Okay. I, Mo was not bragging, but he did talk to me yesterday how he had the highest squat on the whole entire USC football team as a quarterback when he was there. I oh, did hear that. He, he was not bragging. I asked, and he didn't want to tell me. Hey, we're, we're not skipping leg days around here. Quad guy. Let's see it. Jonas right there, dropping right there, back. It. Wait, you said you had the highest squat on the entire football team? One it was of them, tied. Yeah. It was tied for first Man. with uh, one of our guards. Yeah, there's no reason. Hey, no cool. wonder why USC fell off so mm. hard. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> your QB we had, we has the rough highest years. squat. Yeah, yeah, your DN should definitely be in that conversation, man. I don't know. Y'all aren't getting pressure on the quarterback much, were you all? <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Hey, we have to go Spider-Man. Second and goal. We're gonna go at Mo's legs. <laughs> Three minutes on the clock here, too. Midwest boom. No money drives used so far, but they've just been moving the ball down the field, doing their job. Do you guys see Mo's legs? Are we gonna zoom in on these quads? Oh, taking a shot! Good 
for seven. Back to the tie ball game. Midwest boom with a quick strike. Adrian Jones for seven. What a catch from Adrian Jones. First off, what a route, what a play concept. Julian Boys just lost right there. Easy dime from Jonas Williams, and he is just so calm, cool, collected back there in the pocket. Finds the guys that he needs to in this Gale Force win. Doesn't matter. AJ is class of 2026, and you hear the cash register. It is time for the money drive. Here we go. Ten points to score. Six points on a pick. Four oh, points. Oh, he shot. Wobbly ball. A oh little my bit goodness. short. Gracious. How is Jonah Williams? Or how is Jonah All Smith day. open every time? And the fact that he's throwing this into the wind is so crazy, though, too. Rikowski has all the confidence in the world, man. Mo, what are you seeing down there with that throw? It was a Wolverine. double move. Really Harley. good play call by Wolverine. Stupin. He's been in his bag all morning. It was a post corner. Gave him three hard steps inside. Turned his head, sold it, and he was open. Just this wind is tough, guys. Yeah. Now, I believe this money drive has been used by Trillion Boys. Kieran, that doesn't make sense to me because now if you don't score, if you don't score, the defense gets points. So it, before you're playing for the win, and then if you don't score, you tie. Now it's win and loss. This is the way that I think Stupin's seeing it. This might be our last drive of the game. I'm going for it. I want to put the game out of reach. He has he has very, he has a enormous amount of faith in his wide receivers and his ability to go hey, go downfield. He didn't call it last time Loki, when they were when they were, when they were in, in a tie game. He doesn't want to tie again. It's about seating right now, point differential. But Midwest Broom also has their money drive. They do, but they can they can answer back with limited time. Right now, Stupin, as you see, he's going to call a play, probably try to pick up a short amount of yardage here on second down, get the ball inside the ten. Run some more clock off and then take a shot to the end zone to win this game. There's a case that it would have made more sense for Midwest Boom to use their money drive on defense. I think you guys are overthinking this. Is there? Are you surprised that Coach Stupin made a weird call? No, I'm not surprised at all. He's also had two ties in uh, in OT7 already this year, so I think he's just ter terrified of it. I like the call. The thing is, right here he's choosing. Okay, this is my last offensive possession. I want to go win the game. It's tied. If we don't, if we don't score right here, we're gonna lose anyway or have a tie. So I, I want to go win the game. I don't want to. It could be win or loss. It could be win or tie, and he's going win or loss. Here we go. Clock ticking down under 30 seconds. Here comes a rush. Rakowski. No touch, no touch, no touch, no touch. Touchdown. He's an idiot. Hey, money drive, money drive, money drive. Money, money, money. And now with 23 seconds left, Midwest Boom will look to answer with a money drive of their own. And here's why I like it. It all comes down to this. Let's take another look, though, first, Kieran. I think, up, the ball, I think the ball, even at, even at that touch, the ball was across the plane. But this is my thing, though, Dave. This, that's why you take the money drive. Right now, the worst thing that can happen with, with, with Trilly is that they tie. Great ball by Stu. I loved it. Look, it, I, I see what you're saying, and it might work out. Let's go. But I, that could have ended hey, really poorly. Like it could have, but at the end of the day, you put yourself in a position because you believed in your offense. Throws it to the flat. That's complete. Quinn Morris. Tick, 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 tick. 15 seconds left. First down markers at the 20, but they have their sights on the end zone right now. Here we go. Second and six. Jonas dropping back. Throws over the middle. Complete. Talon Taylor. Five seconds. I don't think they're going to get another playoff. Here we go. Game. Snaps it, last play of the game, barring a flag. Oh my goodness! Touchdown! Are you kidding me? The ref let that go. Blase La Vista. Blase, 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 blase. Oh and my goodness gracious. A tie ball game and exhale if you're watching at home. This game is going to end in another draw. Karen, let's take another look I gotta at this. I got to see it. I got to see it. The I clock. I got it off. The clock is. Oh, he got oh, it! Oh, he got it up! He might have just got it. He off. got it up! All scoring plays are no. reviewed here at OT7. Trillion boys are celebrating like they won, but Kieran, I think he got it off. I, we have to Ooh. see. We're gonna have to see. Are you gonna have to slow that video down to see if he got the snap off in enough time? Ooh. Trillion.
Chilean boys are manifesting the win here, the way they're celebrating. Coach, did you win? Won the game fair and square. Oh, he's holy offside! Holy! He's, no, moving. he's, not, he's, he's moving. moving! Yeah. You can't, he's you moving. can't, he's offside. you can't retroactively call a penalty. We can retroactively say if the play shouldn't have counted if the clock was dead. Kieran, I believe they got the snap off even though he was offside. I, for one, can't believe that the ref let that movement go. Because that, 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 that to me was a very clear flag. I hey. need to see if, if, there, if there was a, a play call there. Hey guys, I'm down here with Jonas Williams. I think we did. I think we did. I definitely think we just, we just tied the game. So. I, think, I think that should be 31 31. And you already, had one, competition you, already, you already had one game winning drive. Now you have a game time one potentially. How are you so clutch? No, I, think, I think it's just him. 31 21 is the final. The play did not count. They did not get it off in wow. time. An unbelievable morning of drama here in Dallas, Texas concludes with a crazy 31 21 finish. Trillion Boys come out on top. See you at NFL Network at 4 o'clock Eastern, YouTube after for Kieran Day. Peace.